Wyndham kicking off. Barbosa Torres back deep for Ledger. The speedy James Smith. Little ZD back deep for the Colonels. Barbosa Torres hits a squib kick. It's up front. Hits a Ledger uh, player and is loose. And Wyndham recovers right at midfield. A big start to the ball game for the Whippets as the kick was a low line drive. It bounced off of the Ledger up man, and Wyndham will have great field position. Well, and right away we see a little inexperience up front for Ledger. Um, one of the up men could not handle the football and a turnover, and things could not have started any better here for the Wyndham Whippets uh, taking over on the Ledger side of the football at the 49. Under center, first year quarterback Rene Muhizi, and he'll have Barbosa Torres as his lone set. Handoff straight up the middle to Barbosa Torres off a left tackle, and that big fullback falls forward for a gain of three. Gary Saintville on the tackle for the Colonels. Yeah, they run a single wee, a single wing T. Casey, the lone setback, and Barbosa Torres behind the quarterback, and like to find their way up front. And, and Ledger linebacking core will be very busy tonight. Nice job that time by the linebackers in pursuit of the football. Gain of three on first down. Out wide left now for Wyndham goes Giovanni Almodovar. Barbosa Torres is the setback. Handoff to Barbosa Torres. Off right tackle. Not much there. Nice job by the interior of the ledger defense. Making the tackle that time. Richard Mullaney. And it's going to bring up third and about six. And again, a nice job on the second play of the ball game for the ledger for up front people and Linebackers coming in, plugging some holes, and I think you you're gonna have to get used to this tonight from Wyndham. It seems to be their uh, you know their mo heading into the ball game. Wide right now for the Whippets goes Brandon Perdomo. Handoff around right end to Spicer. Spicer tries to cut it back inside, and nothing doing. Tackle made out on the wing by number 26, Colin Wiltshire, one of the two-way players for the Colonels. And there you see the speed of Wiltshire that time, tracking down the back, and a nice tackle that time, not letting the back get to the outside. And this looks like a four-down territory here for Wyndham. Pursuit from the linebacking core, pursuit from the from the free safeties in the corners, Casey, very important tonight if Ledger wants to be successful. With some good size up front for the Colonels. We weren't sure about uh, their size up front, but they've got some big ones up there, led by Nick Whipple. And if you know the Ledger Colonels, you know the name Whipple, a longtime player. We will get our first punt of the ball game as Aaron Spicer will punt the ball from his own 45-yard line. And a first flag of the game comes down. And we're going to probably get a delay of game as one of the players was rushing to get off. And it's going to back the Whippets up five yards. And now Spicer will be five yards back before he punched the ball away. So after a horrific turnover and an opening kickoff, kudos to the Ledger defense, Casey. Three and out for the Wyndham Whippets on at basically midfield. Stanley Green, the speedster, back deep for Ledger. Spicer with a high spiraling kick that's going to bounce at the 25-yard line and take a Wyndham hop to about the 15-yard line where it will be downed there by Eddie Torres. And Ledger will have its first offensive possession of the ball game. We'll get our first look here at senior quarterback now, Max Ebden, as he takes over the reins for the Ledger Colonels. And like you said, he's, he's played wide receiver, he's played tailback, he's played defense. Now he needs to become the leader of this Colonel team, and we're going to see a lot of Max Ebden and Wiltshire here tonight. A lot of these teams uh, go both ways. A lot of these players, uh, we talk to both coaches, and when you're schools of this size, uh, the skilled position players play both ways, as do many of the linemen. So you see Barbosa Torres, the big fullback for Wyndham, he's going to play nose on the <laughs> offensive side of things. Ledger sprints out, and they go into a three-receiver set. Twins right, one left. Wiltshire is the lone setback, and Ebden will operate from the shotgun. Ebden gets the snap, hands off up the middle to Wiltshire, breaks it outside to the right, has speed, gets a seam, slips a defender, cuts it back inside, first down, Colonels, all the way up to the 30-yard line. Nice running that time by Colin Wiltshire. Yeah, welcome to the game, Colin Wiltshire, track athlete for the Ledger uh, track team in the spring, Casey, that time. Nice cutback lane up the middle, good vision, quick feet, and a good finish on the run, good for 12 yards. Colonels go, hurry up, same formation, Wiltshire on the other side. Another handoff, trying to get wide, being chased to the outside. Has his speed, but Barbosa Torres hits him at the sideline and rides him out of bounds for a loss of one. Wiltshire tried to get to the corner. Great pursuit by the Whippets. 
Yeah, and, you know, that's a nose guard making that tackle down the line for the Whippets, Casey. And there you see the speed and the size and the finish on the tackle of Barbosa Torres. Yeah, the, the junior voice of game day is a nose tackle this year. He should learn something from the pursuit that time of Barbosa Torres. Second down and 11. Ebden from the shot again. Hands it off again to Wiltshire. Nothing there. Barbosa Torres has him by the ankle. And Wiltshire fights forward maybe a yard or two. And it's going to be third and long at the 32-yard line for Ledger. A lot of running up front. The big people from Ledger, the offensive line, trying to establish a line of scrimmage. You know, Wiltshire's a kind of guy that can, you know, he's a shoot tackle away from breaking a big one. Brendan Thornton goes out wide right now. We're going to have twins right, twins left. Ledger sends Jamik Devone and Wiltshire wide left, and we're going to get a whistle and a... Timeout, time yeah. Timeout, Ledger. Uh, obviously, Coach Jonathan Hernandez didn't like what he saw that offensive set, and he says third down and eight. You know what? Let's talk it over. Game day is brought to you by Family First Life. Family First Life is a team environment, hiring many current and former athletes because they understand competitiveness and teamwork. If you are looking for part-time or full-time work, apply online at familyfirstlife.com. Familyfirstlife.com. A bit of a feeling out process here in the first two possessions by each team, Casey. Uh, running the ball on both sides. We've seen six total offensive plays tonight and six runs. It's funny because I thought coming into this game that we might have an, you know 90-minute football game because both teams were going to run the heck out of the ball. And talking to some of the uh, program people in the sure. know, uh, they <laughs> said, yeah, they're going to they're gonna run the ball, but they thought it was going to be like 52-48 tonight. And it, both defenses look a little more stout than we may have thought. Third and eight for Ledger. Ball at the 31-yard line. Ebden in an empty backfield. Twins right, twins left from the shotgun. Ebden's going to keep it himself straight up the middle. Has a hole. Breaks a tackle. Ebden in the upper. Slips a defender. It's off to the races for Ebden. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. The 5. Pushed into the end zone. Touchdown, Ledger. Colonels. Max Ebden. 69 yards on the keeper that time by Max Ebden. A straight-up quarterback draw. Coming off of a timeout, Coach Jonathan Hernandez dials up his first scoring play. And there we talk about the Swiss Army knife, the many skills that Max Ebden possesses Casey that time. Tuck and run, break a tackle, great downfield vision. 69 yards on the, on the run. In for the extra point for Ledger is Jaden Bickham. He will kick it out of now. They're going to go for it. They're going to run that swinging game yeah, yeah. again. You, you love that. Oh, oh. I can't stand this. Ebden, hands off on the end around, cutting it up and inside for the two-point conversion is Preston Poulton, last year's starting quarterback. 8 nothing. Colonel's a little uh, dipsy doo dunkaroo. Hey, let me grab into the goodie bag early in the season and go for two points on the road and a lot of life right now on that ledgered Colonel bench. You know, you mentioned the Swiss Army knife. On that one play, Max Ebden first had to make a good decision using his brain. Yeah. Then he had to break a tackle in the hole right there at, at the line. That's his strength. Then he saw he used his vision, took it to the outside, and then you saw speed, which I don't think we knew he possessed because he outran the Wyndham secondary. So he had his mind, his toughness, his vision, and his speed all on display on one play. Now, I mean, he's a football player, Casey. You know, I mean, you, you just have to say he's a football player. I mean, tip your hat off to him. He made a great play. And, you know, how about the turn of events? First of all, Ledger squanders the opening kickoff. The defense comes in and holds. Then right back at you with a little four-play, 85-yard uh, drive with a 69-yard touchdown run by the quarterback. Really nothing there for either team. Out, you saw one nice run from Wiltshire. And other than that, both defenses playing yeah. very stout. And I don't think anybody expected quarterback keeper there, and Ebden took it to the house. 8 nothing Colonels, 8-25 remaining here in the first period. And back deep, Spicer and English for the Whippets. And kicking off for the Colonels is Bickham. Bickham hits a low bouncing kick taken by the up man for Wyndham at the 40-yard line and dragged down immediately Sebastian Stultz. And it'll be good field position and we may have a face mask penalty. Was it called? Or yeah, it was a flag on the a flag on the field. Looks like face mask on the tackle. 
So it could tack on 15 yards and put Wyndham basically on the other side of midfield. Which is where they had the ball to start the game. So Wyndham's had very good field position and hasn't been able to make much out of it in their first drive. They will have the ball after their officials mark him off. They will have the ball on the other side of midfield. So Wyndham will have its second possession all the way down to the ledger 44-yard line. Yeah, I'm sure coaches on both sides too. Casey, first game of the season. Just want to make sure it's a clean game. Stay away from the penalties. Don't hurt yourself. You know, that time uh, a bit of a uh, exciting grab at the face mask, I would call it. Mohizi under center. Hands off around the left side. Spicer. Spicer has the edge. Spicer cuts it outside. Spicer's racing down the sideline. 20. Spicer 10. Touchdown. Wyndham. Hello. Whippets with the answer. 44 yards on a little carry that time by Spicer. Number three got some wheels and went to the outside. Some good blocking up front for the Whippets. And just like that, they answer the legend score. Get big plays. Aaron Spicer with the speed to the outside. And the Whippets come right back. We've seen back-to-back -back plays of over 40 yards. And they are a two-point conversion away from tying up this ballgame. They are going to try and kick the extra point. They're going to have no swinging gate. No swinging gate. Adolfo Gomez Vera sounds like a soccer player. Probably has a great leg. And the extra point is up, and it is good. Listen, when you need an extra point, go with a guy named Adolfo Gomez Vera. Does that not sound like a guy that could kick extra points? <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a leg on him, that's for sure. What a crazy ebb and flow to the start of this game. First, we had, you know, three and out from. Uh, Wyndham, the ledger defense played pretty well. We had three plays stopped uh, by the Wyndham defense and a couple of back-to-back -back home runs. A 69 and a 44-yard touchdown run for each team. As soon as I said something about this being a low-scoring game, yeah. both teams go back-to-back. 8-7, -back. Colonels on top with 8.08 remaining here in the first period. But Wyndham with an answer, and they will kick the ball off to the Colonels. We'll see what they can do with their next possession. Yeah, I think sometimes, too, the run on the outside by a kid like Spicer or Casey is probably a little bit of little undisciplined uh, tactics by the ledger defense. And some kids getting sucked into the middle and you know the, the threat of Barbosa Torres taking off with the ball. So just holding your lanes, holding assignments. Ledger caught napping that time on a defensive end. Yeah, got to maintain the edge against yeah. the wing tee. you got, you got to have contain. It's like a professional fighter, right? They work the body up the middle to hit those home runs to the outside. Little pooch kick by Barbosa Torres lands and goes out of bounds. Flag down on the play. Nice, smart move as Stanley Green let it go out of bounds, and that penalty will give Ledger an excellent field position. You know, it's like a professional fighter, right? You work the body. Yeah. You work the body, soften up the middle so that you can get the headshots. That's what the wing T tries to do. You see Barbosa Torres, Barbosa Torres softening up the middle, and then you hit a quick outside play. You exactly right. The ends crash. Yep. They don't contain. The edge is available. And then the speed of Spicer. Well, he finished that run very nicely. He got in the open field, took it down the sidelines, and six points. So Ledger will take over their second possession, Casey, from their own 35-yard line, moving right to left if you have a radio dial at home. Brendan Thornton goes out wide right. Also out there, Javik Devone. Wiltshire is the lone setback. Ebden stands from his own 30 in the shotgun. Wiltshire fire, fires out right. Ebden's going to keep it himself. Cuts it back outside. Has a block. Has a first down. Heads down the sideline. Breaks a tackle. Still in bounds. And finally out of bounds all the way into Wyndham territory. They're going to mark him out at the 33-yard line. 31-yard run that time by Max Ebden. Again, a little fake uh, patch pattern out to Wiltshire. And then boom. They're going to go hurry up again. First down. They can't even get the chains moved yet. They want to snap the ball. Ebden going to throw. Has time. Deep down the sideline. Has green, and it's intercepted. Isaiah English. Great coverage. Green had a step, but Ebden underthrew him. And turnover. Colonels gives the Whippets the ball. And Ty Ebden wants that one back. He had Stanley Green in the clear. He just got to put a little more air and a little more touch underneath that. And Stanley Green has got six points. Great job that time by the Wyndham cornerback. Isaiah English, who has speed of his own right, was beaten, but he did a great job keeping his head turned to the football, made the speed up, and intercepted. And Wyndham will have it first and 10 from their own 10-yard line. Muhizi 
Under center, Barbosa Torres, the big fullback. In motion, Spicer, and we're going to get a flag. Illegal procedure, false start against Wyndham as they had two guys in motion at the same time. That's or not allowed? A little jumping action. That's not allowed. Uh, it depends on the context. You can have multiple people okay, at the right. same time, all right. but not the way they just did. Yeah, I got you. You can shift. Sure. But you can't illegally proceed. <laughs> I got you. Because then it's a legal procedure. I, I'm, on the same, I'm on the same page. Uh, it's fresh. I've got to get my uh, my rules back underneath me you got to get back bit. into football mode. That's right. 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 First so, I'm still on the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> First and 15, Muhizi under center. Tosses to Barbosa Torres. Heads up the middle. Turns it into maybe a four-yard, five-yard gain back to the original line of scrimmage. Barbosa Torres is a load, but he was met that time by Richard Mullaney, and the interior of the Ledger line is doing a very nice job. Mullaney and Whipple uh, and St. Uh, Ville are both, or all four, across the, uh, the Ledger defensive line. Yeah, three carries for 11 yards for Barbosa Torres. He's been grinding out his yards uh, you know, on the turf, and uh, like you said, nice job up front by the Ledger defenders. It's going to bring up second down and 10. Muhizi under center. Fakes the handoff. He's going to keep it himself. And a great open field tackle on the edge by Braden Grimm. The sophomore cornerback stepped up and popped him. Nice job that time by Grimm. Yeah, and they talk about holding your lanes and holding your assignments and playing disciplined football on the defensive end versus the wing tee. There's a perfect example of it. Ledger was not confused one bit about Mohizi coming down the line with that ball. Braden Grimm is 5'7", 130. The junior voice of game day, my nine-year-old, yeah. weighs more than Braden Grimm. But he stood right in there and made a textbook tackle. That is a tough, that's a tough competitor right there. Third and nine for the Whippets. Not where they want to be. Spicer in motion. Mohizi rolls. Going to throw. Dumps it in the flat. Nice catch by English. And... A first down, Wyndham, as Isaiah English turns it upfield, shows the Jets, and gets the ball out to the 23-yard line. Not the way you drew it up, necessarily. Muhizi did not have a, a nice touch on the pass. English bailed him out, but English is a playmaker. Yeah, nice job. Good hands that time. The good hands, people, in English. Nice catch. Turn it upfield. Casey with about 12 yards on the reception. First down, Whippets. 26-yard line. Excuse me, 21-yard line of the Whippets and Muhizi under center. Barbosa Torres gets the handoff, off right tackle. He's hit in the backfield and dropped for a loss. Nice job by the interior of the Colonels lined. Whipple and Mullaney did a nice job, as did St. Ville. They all fired in and got him in the backfield. It's going to be a loss of maybe a yard. Bring up second and 11. You know, early going in this ball game, too, any kind of positive yardage that the Wyndham Whippets do have, Casey, has been on the edge. It's been very, very tough sledding up front for Barbosa and the rest of this crew. Well, that front four of the of the Colonels is doing a nice job holding the line. You see them shift now as Wyndham sends Almodovar out wide left. Barbosa Torres, not much there. Kept. Muhizi heads to the sideline and a great tackle in the open field. By Smith, James Smith, great tackle at the legs of Muhizi, and it looked like he was going to have room to run, and instead it's going to bring up third and long. Yeah, textbook tackle, tackling below the waist, and finished by Smith. Muhizi had a little lane on the outside. The defense started to break down for the Colonels, but a nice job filling by Smith. Great, great tackle, third and let's call it a long seven. Third and seven on from the 30-yard line. We're going to get a... Timeout on the field as Muhizi is limping off the field. That is the last took a thing. shot. Well, what was it that Coach Pro said to you about injuries? You know, he said with 27 people being dressed week in and week out, we're an injury or two away from having a disastrous season. And with their quarterback being nicked up right now, certainly some concern on the sidelines for the Whippets. I look at the roster, and there's only one other kid on the roster who's even got a QB listed by him. And it's the last of four positions listed for him, <laughs> and that is Almodovar. So right now I think Wyndham wants a timeout to recollect themselves. 4.43 remaining in the first period, 8-7 Ledger on top of the Whippets. Third down and seven, ball on the 30-yard line. 
of Wyndham. Yeah, I like what I see so far in this ball game in the early going, Casey. The first you know eight or nine minutes with their defense up front, they are handling Barbosa Torres, establishing the line of scrimmage. If they can work things out on the edge a little bit, they might be all right in this game defensively. Big 79, Gary St. Veal. They list him at six feet 230, and I think he's bigger than that. And you got Nick Whipple, 244, uh, Richard Mullaney, 240. So you got some size up front for the Colonels. Third and seven. We'll see if Muhizi will get back on the field. And he is. He's going to be limping, but he'll get back out there. So they took a timeout so that Muhizi could get his wits about him. And we'll have third and seven now with 443 remaining here in the first. Muhizi's limping a little bit. Try and get him on the edge if you possibly can. And, you know, look for Spicer or Smith in a pass pattern. English, English I'm sorry. In, English. English is in the backfield with Barbosa Torres. English gets the handoff up the middle, breaks a tackle, and great pursuit by the Colonels. Defense linebackers flying to the football, and he's cleaned up after a gain of maybe a yard. Nice job. It's going to bring up fourth and five. A little misdirection that time by the Whippets, Casey, on the wing tee. And English, we've seen him earlier with some speed on the edge, took a pop and a great job, again, by the interior folks in the linebacking core of the Colonels. The very dangerous Stanley Green stands back on his own 40-yard line. Oh, he's fast. Awaiting the punt from Aaron Spicer. Good snap. Spicer gets the kick off. High, spiraling kick taken by Green at the 35. He heads straight up the field. Gets a block. Breaks a tackle. Tries to reverse his field. Still on his feet, churning into Wyndham territory. All the way to the 44-yard line. Nice return by Stanley Green. Stanley Green, one of those kids that's a home run header on the high school level and every touches the, the ball. Fastest kid on the team. He's got a little muscle on him this year, too. Flexing for the sports doctor on the field before the game. 5'10", 142. He's, nah, he's, he's got a lot of muscle, though. He's I'm telling you, he's a solid kid. And he will go out wide left as Ledger will set up first and 10 from the Wyndham 42-yard line. They lead this game 8-7, 355 remaining in period number one. Out wide left now for the Colonels goes Devone. Ebbed in with Wiltshire as his lone setback from the shotgun. Straight up the middle it goes to Wiltshire. Not much there. Bounces off one tackle and gets back to the original line of scrimmage. But not much there for Wiltshire. Linebacker for Wyndham. Aiden Marillo Garcia that time shot the gap and got Wiltshire for no gain. Right back to the line for the Colonels in a hurry up. Ebbed in. Doesn't like it. Going to turn to the sideline. Gets a new play. Twins left. Green long, long uh, wide out right for the Colonels. Wiltshire in the backfield. Ebden going to throw. Has time. Now dumps it off to Wiltshire, but it's tipped at the line by Barbosa Torres. Incomplete. And if Wiltshire had that ball, he had a lot of running room. That was a well-designed play, but blown up by Barbosa Torres. Yeah, nice job by Barbosa Torres coming off of his way. nose guard position and making a play down the line. And Wiltshire is one of those kids that they want the ball in the hands of in the open field. They go with that empty uh, backfield set again here. Third and ten. Wiltshire and Devone wide right. Twins left with Green. Ebden, empty set, backfield. Ebden drops, going to throw, fires over the middle. Has a man out in the flat. It's Devone, first down, Colonels, inside the 30 to the 29. And yeah, nice job that time. The nice pitch and catch that time. Max Ebden, his best throw of the ball game, surveyed the field, planted his feet, and fired a fastball. Good for 14 yards and a first down. Hurry up now as we head down to three minutes. Ebden under the shotgun now. Sends twins left, including Green and Brandon Thornton. Wiltshire is to his right. Doesn't like the original call at the line, so he turns to get an audible call from the sideline from Coach Pasta Sanabria. Now from the shotgun, Ebden. Low snap, hands off to Wiltshire. Wiltshire running left, gets to the sideline, has a little room, cuts it back inside, and driven back and hard to the ground. Tackle out there by number number 24. That's Barbosa Torres. He is everywhere. That's the best run of the ball game for Wiltshire since the opening run that he took for 15 yards. Little room on the outside. He picked up five. Second and five, and we're going to get a... Timeout as an injured player, and that was Muhizi.
coming off yeah. the field again for Wyndham. So Cramping he is up. definitely not right. Muhizi. So second and five. Ebden from the shotgun. Wiltshire to his right. Green and Thornton wide right. And to the left is Devone. Wiltshire now switches from the right to the left side of Ebden. From the shotgun. Ebden going to keep it himself. Breaks it. One tackle. Nice move. Cuts it back inside. Dives toward the 30 uh, to the 20-yard line. Right at the first down marker, we'll see where the officials mark it. Max Ebden, three carries unofficially for 108 yards already in this ballgame. He's going to be just short, so it's going to be third and about a foot. Ebden, quarterback keeper, goes off the left side, breaks a tackle, and inside the 10-yard line, Max Ebden, one man to beat. If it wasn't for Almodovar, he would have scored, but it's a first and goal, Colonels. Again, the quick count that time by the Colonels. Ebden catching the defense off guard a little bit, Casey. Went to the, his left side of his line and picked up 10 yards. They're going to mark him at the 10-and-a-half-yard line so they can still technically get another first down. First and 10 from the 10-and-a-half-yard line. Ebden now goes to the shotgun. E.J. Alborn is in the game for the Colonels. Handoff up the middle. Smith... And Smith will get about four yards, and he'll bring him inside the 10 to about the six or seven yard line, where it will be second down and six. It's a nice drive here by the legend Colonels, Casey. We've seen a little bit of everything. Seven play drive, they took over on the 44 yard line. Under a minute now, we're down to 45 seconds. Second down, Colonels. Ebden, all by himself in the backfield from the shotgun. Twin right, one receiver left. Straight drop. Ebden looking to throw on a slant. And incomplete, knocked down by English, and they're going to get a flag. English looked like he had a great job on Thornton, got to the inside, used the left hand, but the officials are going to say contact before he got there. And that could be first and goal from the one-yard line if it's pass interference in the end zone. English pleading his case down there. I'll tell you, I'll be, I'll be interested in looking at the replay, and we do get pass interference. I thought that was a nice job out there. Uh, it was a you know, one of those little quick slants that so many teams love to do down inside yeah. the 10-yard line. And a nice hard cut to the inside by Thornton. But we're going to get first and goal now from inside the five. Ebden from the shot. Hands off up the middle on a, what looked to be kind of an ugly broken play. Number 36, Andrew Allen, a freshman running back. One of two freshmen you're going to see tonight. For Ledger, looked like he had a little room and tripped over his own guy, and it's going to bring up, is that right, second down and one from the one-yard line. So second and goal from the, call it the two and a half. He may not get the playoff here at the end of the quarter. I don't even think they're going to try. And we are at the end of the first quarter. Your score is Ledger High School 8, Wyndham High School 7. You are listening to Game Day. Live on the day.com, Casey O'Neill along with the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien. And let me tell you about Family First Life. Are you a current or a former athlete looking to earn over $100,000 a year? Well, if the answer is yes, you need to contact Family First Life at 860-317-1324. That's 860-317-1324. Family First Life. I've seen a little bit of everything on this drive here, Casey, from the legend Colonels. It'll be about a nine-play, 42-yard drive. Just two more to go for pay dirt. Uh, we've seen a little running from the quarterback. We've seen a little running from Wiltshire. We saw Max Ebden complete his first pass of the ball game. So, you know, Ledger trying to get themselves in some sort of rhythm or tempo offensively, not just the quick hitters. I like this drive right here by the Colonels. Yeah, it took up a lot of time, sort of settled things down after the big back-to-back -back plays. Uh, Ebden's making good decisions. Uh, you know, that interception that he threw was uh, just a little underthrown, but he's making the right choices. And we're going to get Ledger with a third down. And I don't think we're going to see a kicker in this one. I think this is two cracks at the end zone here. Yeah, I would tend to agree with you, yeah. Yep, line up, get behind your big boys, and either let your quarterback or, or Wiltshire, you know, punch this thing in for six. I would be willing uh, to bet that you're going to see Ebden carry the ball here on, on this third down play. He's a big kid. They got a nice offensive line working in front of him right now. He makes good decisions. Look for Max Ebden to keep this one. I'm going to say go off left tackle. 
Left side. They like, they've been running the ball at the left side. As we, you have access to information I do not. Uh, I have the, if, the, the, <laughs> the breadth of information that I have access to that you do not would stun scientists. <laughs> but you also have information that I don't have access to. Nah, not much. Not much. I mean, so I, I don't have any <laughs> skills on the golf course. I can tell you that right now. Awful today. Sports doctor struggled out there in the links. Ebden has Wiltshire to his right. Third down and goal for the Colonels. They are up 8-7 as we start the second quarter here at Wyndham High School. Wiltshire is to the right of Ebden, going left to right. Ebden gets it, keeps it himself, heads off left tackle, breaks a tackle, tries to get to the outside, but Barbosa Torres says not on my watch. A little too much dancing that time on the goal line for Max Ebden. I think he had six points if he just would have put his head down and stuck his nose across the goal line. And how good is Barbosa Torres at nose guard coming down the line and making the tackle? How good am I calling the play? Yeah, you're to tremendous. A to a T, I had that Tremendous. One. But no go for Ledger. It's going to be fourth and two from the three. Wiltshire to the left of Ebden. They're looking to the sideline. They, they want to go, yeah, but they don't like the play. You can't dance down there by the goal line. you got to go right at it. Fourth down, Ebden gets it. Keeps it himself. Heads left. Has Wiltshire as a blocker fighting towards the goal line. Is Ebden, is he in? No. No, but does he have a first down? That's the next part. I think he got the first down to the one-yard line, and that's going to make it first and goal. Ledger from the one-foot line, and that's the signal we're getting. A uh, tremendous stand that time by the Wyndham Whippets, but again, Ledger rewarded with the first down. First and goal from the one-foot line. Now Ebden runs under center. Keeps it himself off left side. Touchdown, Ledger, Colonels, Max Ebden with his second of the ball game. Well, there you go. That's what I like to see on the goal line. Just get the ball, stick your nose up behind the big people, and stuff it in for six. Max Ebden doing a little bit of everything in the first half here for the Ledger Colonels. That puts Ledger on top, 14-7. to We'll see if they go for two again. They did a little chicanery the first time. They send the... Guys out. Now here comes the swing over. They're going to let Jaden Bickham kick it, it looks like. Snap is good. Hold is good. Bickham's kick is, wow. Look at the leg on that kid. <coughs> is good. And the Colonels on the 11-minute mark go up on top 15-7. to seven. Give it seven carries for 121 yards and two touchdowns in the first half here from Max Ebden as he is answering the bell. For Coach Jonathan Hernandez, Casey, that time we saw not the quick-hitting drives that we've seen in the, in the beginning of the game. We saw 13 plays, methodical 44 yards, a little running, a little passing. It's all a bit of everything. I like that drive by the Colonels. Looks a little bit like some of the drives we saw when his brother Ty Evan yeah. was the quarterback. Three yards, four yards, methodical, taking it down the field, just wearing you out. And that's what happened that time as the Colonels take a 15-7 to lead right on the 11-minute mark here in the first half. Wyndham will send back Aaron Spicer and Isaiah English, and they both stand at their own five-yard line, and they will await the kick of the Ledger Colonels. Bickham that time showing off quite a leg. The youngster, only a sophomore for Ledger with a booming extra point, and he will kick the ball off for the Colonels from his own 40-yard line. You are listening to Game Day live on theday.com. Casey O'Neill along with the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien. Interesting formation out there in the kickoff. That's the Canadian geese formation. Right <laughs> That's a, yeah, it's a bunch set. Little squib kick. It's an onsider and a nice job by big Orlando Aponte Santos. <laughs> the big senior lineman dropped on it and Legend was going to go. Legend was going a little sneaky on yeah. onside. They won the ball back. But nice job, Wyndham. Falls on it, and they'll have good field position at their own 45-yard line. Yeah, we've seen a couple different wrinkles here from Jonathan Hernandez. The, the, uh, the old swing gate motion and the inside handoff on the two-point conversion, and now the, uh, what did you call it, the Canadian geese formation on the uh, onside kick? Yep, heading south, flying south for the winner. Muhizi under center, straight up the middle, middle. Barbosa Torres, and wow. nothing doing. Another great job. Anthony Rose shot in that time to make the tackle from his linebacker position. This ledgered front seven has been outstanding. No gain for Barbosa Torres. 
Yeah, Barbosa Torres is uh, seventh carry of the first half, Casey, and still his longest run has been five yards in the ballgame. It's going to be second and ten. And Mohizi is definitely not 100%. He is limping rather heavily on one side, a pronounced limp. Out wide right goes Aldomovar. Also sending out wide right is Isaiah English. Mohizi under center. Again, up the middle. Barbosa Torres breaks a tackle, gets to midfield, falls over it. Gain of five. That was entirely on Barbosa Torres because he took two colonels with him. Big 65 for Ledger is Richard Mullaney, and he got dragged a good yard and a half by Barbosa Torres. Yeah, good tough run on the inside handoff by Barbosa Torres. Torres going over the right side, Casey. Like you said, got himself into that second level solely on the power of his legs. Third and five. Ball right on midfield. 9.40 remaining. Wyndham trails 15-7, to seven, and they have a big third and five here. Mohizi under center. In motion goes English. Mohizi's going to throw. Dumps it off in the flat to Spicer, and he's hit immediately. Out on the corner and stuffed. And it will be no gain and fourth down for Wyndham. Yeah, Mohizi's shaking up down there. He's... he's Definitely got a limp going on right now. Tried to roll out down the right side and just couldn't get enough on his legs to get the pass underneath him. James Smith and Braden Grimm are big hitters in little packages for the Ledger Colonels. Fourth down and Spicer will punt it away. High snap, handled nicely. Gets the punt off. It's a spiraler. Lands at the 25 and takes a nice Wyndham bounce inside the 20. Let's see where the officials mark it out. Right at the 16-yard line. So Ledger will have the ball and an eight-point lead with 9.14 remaining here in the first half. Well, I'm sure if you had a chance to get down on the sidelines right now and a lot of good energy down in the Ledger sidelines, Casey, and I think Jonathan Hernandez has got to be somewhat pleased what he's seen from his team here in the early going. You know, they uh, they got away from the um, the miscue on the opening kickoff. Uh, they you know played good defense. They scored. They've done big plays. They've done long, sustained drives. A little bit of everything here for the Colonels. Opening night of high school football here in eastern Connecticut. Friday night football, our favorite time of year. You're listening to Game Day live on the day.com. Ledger with a 15-7 lead, 9-14 remaining. And they go to a funky formation now. What are we going to call this one? Oh. We're going to throw a penalty flag on it. That's what we're going to call it. The Colonels just sent four linemen left and four linemen right. So they had Ebden, they had a center, Ebden and Wiltshire in the middle of the field, and the other eight people. Well, that's probably, you know why. Legal substitution. No, they've got four guys there, and five guys there is nine, and three guys in the middle is 12. And 12 men on the field. You're not allowed to have 12 men on the field. I don't even know if that if you can do that formation with 11 guys. I think there's still 12 guys on the field. But right I know now. you can't do it with 12. It's big 60. Well, who's running off? Number two. Smith's going to run Smith's going to run up. Wow. Now we got 11, and now we're back to normal football. First and 15, and all right. Settle down now, boys. Settle down. And here we go. They're going to do it again. Splitting it out. What are we going to call this? We're going to call this the funky chicken. First and 15, Ledger sends Wiltshire in motion. Ebden's by himself out there right now. Can you snap the ball from this formation? I don't think you can. I'm waiting for another flag. In motion. Now to the other side. Ebden's by himself. and I, Time out. Jonathan Anders is irate over there on the sidelines. And I'd be confused if I was a player, too, to be honest with you, Coach. I'm confused myself. Yeah, I mean, if I was a player, I'd be confused. I don't know. We get some guys up here in the booth that can help me out a little bit. I'm not too sure what that formation was. Didn't Indianapolis do something like this a couple years ago? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? On uh, Monday Night Football, and got all kinds of Cameraman slack. Carlos is looking back at me, and he's like, what's going on? You're the expert. I mean, not really, Carlos. <laughs> Uh, folks, uh, I, I would uh, if you're saying you're not doing a good job describing what you just saw. It's, it's not I, easy because <laughs> I don't know how to describe what I just saw. Uh, Ledger is determined to run this formation where <laughs> Ebden is in the shotgun. They have a center, Ebden in the shotgun, and a running back to his side, and all the other players are sp divided evenly on the opposite sideline. Four and four, each other. four and four That's on right. either sideline, and then a guys run in motion. But I don't think you can snap the ball without a certain number, without five guys on the line, correct? No. No, five guys need to be on the line of scrimmage. That is correct. I am confused. 
Players are confused. Uh, the announcers are confused. The only person that's not confused right now is Jonathan Hernandez. He knows what he wants to call. And he's probably going to run it right here. If he runs it again, I'm going to be very surprised. But we'll see. What, we'll also see what our officials have to say. First and 15, Ebden from the shotgun. We're going to go regular time this time. Around left end goes Smith. Smith has the sideline. Smith's got speed. One man to beat. And he's dragged to the ground by Spicer. But uh -oh. great speed by James Little ZD Smith. Yeah, Smith to the outside. EJ Alborn sealed the edge with a nice block downfield. And it looks like we're going to tack on 15 yards for a horse collar tackle. But there you go. You see the speed. You know, Smith, Green, some of the players that Ledger has right now, has a big time run. Nice blocking downfield. So first down, Colonels. Ball is going to be after the penalty into Wyndham territory all the way to the 42-43 yard line. So great field position for the Colonels now with 9.06 remaining and a an 15-7 lead. They will have it first and 10 from the 43. You know, a couple of touches for Smith in this ball game. Two carries for, you know, 26 yards, and that's where you saw him at his best, on the edge. In motion, Smith. Ebden fakes to him, going to throw deep down the sideline and overthrows his intended target, E.J. Alborn. The tight end had some room down the sideline but was overthrown. And that's the matchup you want. E.J. Alborn, uh, Casey, we know from the basketball court for the Legend Colonels, he's got a little bit of size out there, a little bit of speed, chuck it up, let him go get it. And again, put a little bit of air underneath that. Second down and 10. Alborn goes to the right side along with Devone. Out left is Smith. Wiltshire is in the backfield, and Ebden will operate from the shotgun. One for four for Ty Ebden with an interception in the ballgame. In motion, Smith fakes the end around, straight up the middle. Wiltshire off left tackle, gets into the open, spins towards the first down marker, and it'll be a close based on the mark. Nice run that time by Colin Wiltshire. Close to a legend first down. North-south running that time by Colin Wiltshire. Took the handoff, bounced it off to the left side. Great vision in the hole and a good job of finishing the run. Bring up third and very short. Third and a foot. Wiltshire stays in the backfield to the left of Ebden. Ebden, who's from the shotgun. Snap. Handoff straight up the middle. Wiltshire. Wiltshire hit immediately. Dragged back, but he'll have enough for the first down by inches. They'll move the chains. And that'll be first down, Colonels, inside the 35 to the 33-yard line. And again, another little nice mix of play calling on this uh, drive by the legend Colonels, Casey. We see speed to the outside. We see Wiltshire pound in the middle. So right now, the legend Colonels and Jonathan Hernandez in a rhythm offensively. Ebden from the shotgun still has Wiltshire. Straight drop, wants to throw. Plenty of time. No one open now. Deep down the sideline, lofts it, and it's tipped. And incomplete. Great defense out there by Isaiah English. Nothing doing down the sidelines for Devone. And Ebden had all kinds of time, but no one open for the Colonels. A nice job from pass protection up front for the legend Colonel offensive line. And again, like you said, no one open that time in the pattern. But I will tell you this, Ebden's got a strong arm out there, Casey. He's impressed me with his throwing capabilities. Second and 10, ball from the 33. Ebden in the shotgun. Wiltshire to his left. Shotgun, gonna throw again. Now he's gonna tuck it, keep it. Heads left, heads toward the sideline. And he'll be bounced out of bounds after a gain of about seven. Crosses the 30 to about the 26 yard line. Smart decision that time by Ebden. Some out of town scores right now. New London right now putting one on Waterford. 19 nothing. Just before halftime, Juan Roman loaded this year. And out wide right, and the ball is on the turf, picked up by Wiltshire, and Wiltshire is going to be brought down for a loss back behind the play on a bad snap. It was a lateral that time. It was called the lateral, and Wiltshire mishandled it, and a nice job covering it up, but negative yards that time will bring up fourth down and eight for the Colonels. That's going to be a long fourth down. They're going to go for it. I like that Ebden's. I like the decision making of Ebden so far, and he's gotten plenty of time to throw the ball, but not a lot doing in the uh, Colonel receiving core right now. Fourth and nine. Ebden from the shotgun, low snap, handles nicely, has time in the flat through the hands of Wiltshire. He was pressured. Was Ebden by Sebastian Stoltz, 
And it's going to be a turnover on downs as the Whippet defense holds. One for six for Ty Ebden early going in this ball game. One for six for 14 yards and an interception. So. Ledger not afraid to throw the football with him, but just got to be able to hook up with the receivers. So Wyndham will have a first down at the ball. It will be at the 30-yard line of the Whippets. Muhizi under center in motion. English. Muhizi tosses right to Spicer. Spicer looks to get to the outside, breaks a tackle, heads towards the first down marker on the right sideline before he's bumped out of bounds. But, man, Spicer can fly. Spicer's one of those kids. You get him on the edge, you can make some plays. You've already seen the 44-yard touchdown run earlier in this ball game. Three carries for 50 yards and a touchdown, let's call it, from Spicer. Dangerous on the edge is some of these uh, smaller scatbacks for the Wyndham Whippets. Second down and two. Muhizi uh, flag will blow this dead. Muhizi lost the snap, but flag will whistle it dead. We'll see what the officials call. The bulk of the work here for the Wyndham Whippets offense being done on the ground. Only two pass attempts for two yards. And that penalty will go against Wyndham. It'll back them back five yards, so it'll be second down and eight for the Whippets. Correct that. Two for two passing for 13 yards for Mohizi. Both on little dump offs. Yeah, right yep. He has not actually tried to throw the football. Not downfield. No, he's just a check down and. He is a facilitator. Yes, he is. A great word. Wide left now goes Perdomo and English. Barbosa Torres and a false start that time by the Whippets. Big number 65 with quick feet there. Yeah, Jacob Reyes jumped off a little bit, a little too quick, and that's back-to-back five-yard penalties after an encouraging first down gain. So a first down run of eight yards negated by back-to-back -back penalties. It's going to end up being second and 12. Fifth penalty of the night for the Wyndham Whippets as opposed to one for Ledger. first half. So it seems like Wyndham's got to try and put something together here offensively. Some sort of sustained drive. Yeah, 655. They've really been out of sorts. Now they're going trips left, trying to get some space. Barbosa Torres gets it up the middle, trying to break a tackle, and not much there. Great job by Dennis Charles shooting the gap that time for Ledger. And Barbosa Torres has not been able to really get anything going. The Ledger interior has been fantastic. You know, nine carries, Casey, like you said, for 21 yards. You know, just averaging a little over two yards a carry is Barbosa Torres. And credit the Ledger front seven for that. It's going to be third and ten, or maybe ten and a half. Ball rests right on the 30-yard line. 6.20 remaining here in the first half. Ledger on top, 15 to seven. Muhizi under center, Barbosa Torres and Spicer to the right. Spicer gets it off left end, has some room, and then swallowed up quickly by the Ledger defense. He had a little bit of space, and he made a man miss, but not everybody. The nice job that time by the Ledger secondary. The Elijah Brown Young had Spicer in the backfield, uh, slipped him, but the rest of the Colonels flew to the football, and it's going to bring up fourth and five. You know, down on the sidelines before the football game, too, we got a sense and feel that you know, the defense was one of the weaker points this year for the Legend Colonels, but, you know, I'm impressed with them so far. They, You know, their front their front seven, front eight played very well. Nice pursuit to the ball at time, forcing a fourth down punt here for Wyndham. I would give the uh, Colonel defense a B-plus right now. Punt gets off, and it's kicked away from Green, and it's going to take a great Wyndham bounce. And Green's going to let it go dead, and it's going to roll all the way to the 30, to the 26-yard line. So Ledger will have the ball, 519 remaining here in the first half, and they lead 15-7. to seven. Family First Life can meet all your life insurance needs. Contact them for a free quote at 860-317-1324. That's 860-317-1324. Yeah, Ledger has made a, um, a conscientious effort to take Barboza Torres out of the ballgame, make things tough for him, and force Wyndham to, uh, to go to the edge. And so far, so good. Uh, you know, two thumbs up for this Ledger Colonel defense. 
A question mark coming into tonight's ball game, by the way. 5-19 remaining here in the first half. 15-7. to seven. Ledger on top with the ball. And Ebden in the shotgun. Has Wiltshire next to him, and we're going to get a whistle on the field. Officials throw the flag. Delay of game against the Colonels. Second penalty of the first half for the alleged Colonels. Pretty clean ball game for the road team today. Ledger, um, about what, a 30-minute trip up. Route 2 coming into uh, Willimannic here. Ebden looks, throws. Catch complete on the left side. Stanley Green that time showing you his quick feet, Casey. Gain of six on the play. I apologize, but the, uh, we're having some people chiming in that they're unable to access the game. They can't find it. Uh, when they go to the day.com, they couldn't find the broadcast. And on Facebook, they couldn't find the broadcast. Just trying to see if we can resolve some of their technical issues. And in the meantime, it'll be a second down and eight for Ledger. 446 remaining. Ebden from the shotgun has time. Quick throw and hits J Devone, and he slips a tackle. Still on his feet. One man to beat to the sideline. Has it. Has some room. First down. Crosses midfield. Nice catch and run that time. Jamik Devone for the Colonels. All the way to midfield. Slippery from his wide receiver position. Well, on that time, you saw the good mechanics by number 10, Max Ebden. Set his feet. A great throw on a rope. Devone caught it. Cut across the field, and they get 15 yards. Their biggest pass play of the night. First down and 10 from the their own 49-yard line with 4.30 remaining here in the ballgame and another flag on the play. Illegal substitution. Again, 12 men in the field. So, you know, you've seen both sides of it for Jonathan Hernandez right now. You've seen some clear, uh, stra you know, some strategic things that have gone his way. He, obviously, they've tried to put in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and week one, you see some problems. So they've had some issues with a couple formations. They've had issues with some substitution penalties. Delay. Like you know, delay, right. Yeah. Which is to be expected in the right. early going. But for the amount of stuff they've put in, I'm impressed. And that's because Max Ebden is steering the ship. Smith in motion. Handoff goes to Smith, and he's thrown for a loss in the backfield. Nice job out there. Jacob Cushing for the Whippets brought Smith down for a big loss. Yeah, Smith couldn't get to the edge that time. That was the probably the worst decision of the night for Max Ebden on that little read option that time. Maybe tuck it and, and, and give it to Wiltshire, but nobody was fooled that time for Wyndham. Loss of 12. It's going to be second and 22. That is a huge loss with under four minutes remaining here in the first half. Ebden now empty backfield, trips right. Snap. He's going to keep it himself. That's a quarterback keeper. That's the play that he scored a touchdown on in the first half, but nothing there that time. He stopped almost immediately. No gain. Wyndham's not going to fall for that particular play on second down and, like you said, almost 22 yards. Third and 22. Ebden sends Wiltshire to his right. Looks, has time, fakes, pumps. Now he rolls right, pressured, throws over the middle, tipped and almost intercepted off the hands of Preston Poulton. He was well short. He wasn't even back to the line of scrimmage. And it'll be fourth down, and Ledger will have to punt. Three for nine for Max Ebden with an interception. Made some good throws on this drive, Casey. That time just could not connect. The big tackle for the loss on Smith really hurt that drive. 12-yard loss. So it'll be uh, a punting situation for the Colonels and English and Spicer back deep for the Whippets. The snap is good. The punt is up and a high end over end kick taken by Wyndham by Spicer. Spicer needs a block, can't get it. Great pursuit by the Colonels. And Spicer gets only to about the 33-yard line before he's knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by the punter, E.J. Alborn, getting down the line and hustling and helping himself out a little bit. When was the last time you saw that? The, the punter coming down the line and making the tackle. One punt, one tackle. 
Whitman will have the ball, first and 10. They set up shop at their own 35-yard line, Casey. Looking to jumpstart this offense. With three minutes remaining here in the first half, they're not really built to go 70 yards in three minutes. So. No, they haven't. They and, haven't you know, all night. We'll see. They will get the ball starting the second half. Hand off straight up the middle. Barbosa Torres has a little room met in the hole and driven back, but he fell forward. He is impossible to knock backwards, and he'll gain about four yards on first down. He was met in the hole. Uh, was uh, Barbosa Torres. He was met by Sean Acosta, and he knocked Acosta right backwards. Are they going to stick with that, that dive play up front with Torres? Stick with it, running, running, running. You know, and hopefully... You know, let him pop one. Second down and five. Up the middle, Barbosa Torres. This time he's got a hole. Heads to the outside. Slips a tackle. One man to beat and ridden down. Barbosa Torres with a big run off tackle. Like you said, sports doctor, you were they were listening to you. Yeah, chip, 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 and pop one. Torres that time hit the hole. Quick feet, finished the run. Good for 22 yards. His best run of the night and win him. Trying to put one in the end zone here before they go into the locker room. We're going to be heading down towards two minutes, 2.10 and counting. Ball is at the 45-yard line of Ledger. Barbosa Torres that time finally rewarded with some running room. And we're going to get a flag on the play. Now, it is of note that the quarterback in the game for Wyndham right now is Giovanni Almodador. Uh, that means that Muhizi... The starting quarterback, who we've seen with all kinds of leg problems, was not under center for that play. Yeah, he's nicked up. He's beat up over there. He cramped. He took a big shot early. He started to cramp up, a bit of a Charlie horse, and he is still trying to work out the kinks over there. So Giovanni Almodovar, a sophomore, is now under center for Wyndham. Second and, excuse me, first and 15 from midfield. Almodovar. Straight up the middle, Barbosa Torres, Barbosa Torres breaks a tackle, Barbosa Torres off right edge to the corner and ridden down after a 13-yard gain. Yep. Nice run by Barbosa Torres. Yeah, back-to-back -back carries, 22 and 13 yards, and Barbosa Torres a shoestring away from probably six points. Pay dirt on that one, and again, you, you keep chopping at the tree, Casey, and eventually it's going to fall, and I think that's what Wyndham is hoping with Torres. Back-to-back -back, great runs. Going to bring up second and short, 143 remaining here in the first half. Ledger on top, 15-7. to seven. Uh, I'm a little surprised at the spot, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit. He's, I thought he was a little further downfield than that. They have him at the 38-yard line. Casey, we've seen the speed from Barbosa Torres on the defensive end going side to side. We have not seen that speed in an offensive end until these last two plays because he's, he's been so bottled up. This time, instead of going, they're going off tackle a little bit yeah. instead of straight up the middle. Getting, trying to get right in, you know, almost to the edge, but staying within the tackles. Second down and five. 135 remaining. Almodovar, again, up the middle. Barbosa Torres heads towards the first down marker off left tackle and driven to the ground by Mullaney, but it's going to be right at the mark. Let's see where they spot it. They spot it right on the 35-yard line. It's going to be third and maybe a foot. He's unofficially 13th carry of the first half for the Whippets. He has been the workhorse thus far. Third and a foot. 110 remaining. Wyndham has an opportunity trying to cut into an eight-point Colonel lead. And we're going to get a little motion, and he knew it. Uh. Isaiah English was trying to get a jump on the snap. And he just leaned forward, his foot moved, and that's going to cost Wyndham five yards. Yeah, third and one or third and six, a coach, coach's nightmare down there. That is a big difference, and Almodovar is going to come over and get the play from the sideline. Coach Randall Pros Going to get a near full, too, from the coach. And he's going to call timeout, and he's going to head out there to discuss this play. It is a big third and six, one minute exactly remaining here in the first half. You see my halftime guest just came into the studio right here, huh? And by, wow. by, the, by the sweatshirt. Yes, yes. And the smooth demeanor. Yes. It is the Billy D. Williams of ECC. <laughs> yeah, he is, yeah. Coach Dave Cornish. Only, only a New London guy could have that much style you notice in he, ledgered gear. Do you notice he didn't bring the monkey on his back up into the booth with him, too? Because he got it off his back last year by winning the championship. Do you notice that? I did not notice the, uh, the, the lag. I did notice a little pep in his step, though. So clearly... 
Coach Cornish feeling good about himself. We talked earlier about the out of conference schedule. Yeah, I'm gonna for, get for you. the Wyndham. Excuse me, for the Legend Colonels this year, they're playing Duke, Georgetown, <laughs> <laughs> Providence College. <laughs> Dave and I are gonna have some fun at halftime. Dave has been in my ear all since I got here. He's been blowing up my phone about the Patriots losing and. He thinks Kyrie Irving is no better than a bag of potato chips, but we're, we're going to get into some stuff here with Dave. Third uh. and six. One minute remaining here in the first half. Ledger on top, 15-7, to seven, but Wyndham with the ball in Ledger territory. Almodovar pitches wide left to English. English spins. Can't evade the Ledger secondary, and he will lose a yard. Great job by James Smith coming up from his corner position. Forcing English wide, and it's going to bring up fourth and long for Wyndham. Well, the penalty hurt you there. You go from third and one to third and six. He kind of force you in a situation where you where you can't use your best player on this drive in Barbosa Torres. Now you've got to get some speed on the outside and give. Now listen, my hat's off to this legend Colonel defense in the first half. I thought they played very well. Well, I think you clearly on third and one, it was going to be, yeah, be twenty-four. Going to start, yeah. yeah, it was going to be twenty-four. Yeah. But on third and six, not so much. So we yeah. see what they got here. 20 seconds remaining and counting. Throw Fourth it deep. down play. And we're going to get a penalty. And they were going to throw it too, by the way, on a little a little trickery. But we're going to get Time a out. timeout ledger. They clearly saw that they want to set up their defense. So 15 seconds remaining here in half number one. Ledger 15, Wyndham 7. Wyndham with the ball, fourth and seven from the Ledger 41-yard line. So time for maybe two plays. Uh, and I don't know what Almodovar has for an arm. Of course, he's a wide receiver who has been pressed into quarterback duties today because Rene Muhizi, the normal starter, first-time starter. Yeah. First time you ever started a game for Wyndham High School, and you got a, a little leg issue here in the first half. Uh, get some speed on the outside and Spicer in English and you know, try and throw one up for grabs. And, you know, at the very worst, try and get your penalty. If you, got, you know, Wyndham is out of timeouts. Now, we saw from the game day challenge in the passing league. Yeah. That I could make this throw. I could make this throw right here. You could throw the fade? I could throw the, the, this ball, and I could get it to maybe the five-yard line. <laughs> we also saw that you probably couldn't, uh, couldn't get there. No, I, unless I, we gave you a head start. Yeah, I, I'm still beat up from that game day challenge. <laughs> and I'm, st I'm beat up from the 5K last week, too, two weeks ago. I've still got – I'm still scarred mentally from the crew. <laughs> There we go. Fourth and six. Almodovar under center. Straight drop. Wants to throw. Deep down the sideline for English, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by James Smith. And the Colonels hold and will take over with 10 seconds remaining in the half. Well, again, you know, we, we a lot of the talk on the sidelines before the game and on the field with some of the people at B was that, you know, Ledger's defense was a little spotty. I, you know, I give them a lot of credit. They played well in this first half. We had heard 42-38 as one of the yeah. proposed scores and or whoever had the ball last. 15-7, uh, and I think both defenses have played pretty well, Right. Uh, particularly in the secondary. Both yep. secondaries have defended the pass well. Both interior lines have defended the run well. So Max Ebden will get under center with 10 seconds remaining here in the first half. He will take a knee, and the clock will run and will take us to the end of the first half. Your score at halftime at Ferrigno Field at Wyndham High School, the Ledger High School Colonels 15, the Wyndham Whippets 7. Ledger kicking off left to right here to start the second half, Sports Doctor. The Canadian Ge Geese formation back deep, Spicer and Barbosa Torres for Wyndham. Low line drive taken by Spicer. He heads straight up the middle of the field, now tries to get to the outside. Pursued out there by Devone, and a nice job out on the edge by Devone to wrestle down Spicer, and Wyndham will have its first possession of the second half at their own 30-yard line. Yeah, Barboza Torres, the workhorse, and started to get a little running room, Casey, towards the end of the first half, 13 carries. Uh, unofficially got him down for about 60 yards. Uh, a lot of that due to 35 yards on back-to-back -back runs towards the end of the first half, but... You know, Barbosa Torres is a kid. They want to get going a little bit, and we saw flashes at the end of the first half, what he can do with his feet in the open field. All right, so here's the first thing of the second half. New quarterback Isaiah English is going to be under center for Wyndham. Straight up the middle on an end around. He keeps it. English has speed to the outside, cuts it off the right edge to the sideline, out of bounds after a gain of four. But we, you know, we knew that the starting quarterback, Muhizi, had been hurt. 
They had put Almodovar underneath the center. That time they lined up the speedster, Isaiah English, under center, and he got a gain of six on first down. Yeah, a little tuck and run that time, and once again, nice job that time by the you know, alleged people hanging on the outside, holding their lanes. And holding that to his six-yard run, Casey, because once he broke containment, I thought he had a little more real estate in front of him. Yeah, English has got wheels. He and Spicer are the speed element to this Wyndham wing tee, which they've had to somewhat abandon because the quarterback got hurt. So they're going to put English under center. English hands off to Barbosa Torres off left tackle. Nothing there, but Barbosa Torres with sheer will and leg strength bulls his way close to the first down marker. Dragging the entire ledger interior yeah. along with him. Yeah, the offense, the workhorse, the put your head down and grind out four yards. Almost five if we be third down and very short for a win. I'm actually going to give him the first down. Wow, that was a five-yard run by Barbosa Torres. The last four and a half of which came with three members of the ledger defensive front just hanging on him. That, that's a very impressive strength there by the youngster from Wyndham. Uh, nice start right out the shoot here. Back-to-back -back running plays. First down for the Whippets. English under center. Hands off to Barbosa Torres. Now tucks it himself. Keeps it. Tries to get left. Corralled nicely by Charles. Breaks a tackle and wrestled to the ground. Nice job in pursuit that time by uh, Devone and Charles on the edge. Charles had the original tackle and he yep. got back into the play after he missed it. Yeah, and then Max Ebden getting down the line too. The quarterback playing his uh, quarterback playing his cornerback position, safety position coming up and trying to knock some heads on the sidelines. And again, great pursuit that time by Ledgerd. Timeout as another injured whippet comes off the field. And if that is if that's English, then that's that is be, English. That's going to be the second quarterback coming off the field. And now English is banged up. We already saw them lose Muhizi. Now English is on the sideline, and that's going to put Almodovar back under center for Wyndham wow. on this second and nine. Yeah, well, worst nightmare for Wyndham happening, players getting hurt. Almodovar, toss right to Spicer. Spicer wrestled down by Ebden, and then the rest of the ledger defense comes flying over, and Wiltshire cleans him up right at the 40-yard line. Loss on the play, and it's going to bring up third and 11. Great yeah, job and, by Ebden that yeah. time. One of the things that the Wyndham coaching staff had talked about, dressing only 27 bodies tonight. We can ill afford any injuries. And they've seen two, not one, but two of their quarterbacks go down thus far in this ballgame. Yep, Rene Mohizi starting his first game, got injured early. And then Isaiah English taking coming out in the second half under center. And now he's on the sidelines being worked on. Third and 11. Almodovar. Straight drop, rolls right, looks to throw. Into the flat, complete, but no gain as Ledger pursues nicely. And that's going to be fourth down. Threw it in the flat to Spicer, but nothing there. And Wyndham will have to punt on its opening possession of the second half. You know, the passing game thus far for the Whip, it's very challenged, Casey. You know, most of their passes, little swings or dump-offs, nothing downfield. And it hurts when you're down to your third-string quarterback. It sure does. In, uh, Spicer in the kick for Wyndham. And Stanley Green, the dangerous Stanley Green, stands at his own 30-yard line. Almost blocked. We're going to get a flag. James Smith came in and had a free run. How he didn't block it, I don't know. Ball goes down at midfield, but a flag on the play. It would be running into the kicker. Let's see what the officials come up with. A personal roughing. Wow. 15 yards, first down. For Wyndham. How did Smith not block that punt? He was right there. It was right in his breadbasket. I think he could have tackled him. Yeah. I don't he even tried. Think, I don't even think he had to go for the he block. He tried tackling him. I don't think he could have just tackled the guy. But that's a huge penalty. Uh, Wyndham's going to have the ball in Ledger territory now, all the way to the Ledger at 44-yard line and a first down. It goes from almost being a big-time play for Ledger to being a big-time play for Wyndham with the penalty. Yeah, I mean, I thought he was going to have him – I thought he was going to sack him a little yeah. and block the punt. But instead, Wyndham has it at the 45-yard line. Hand off to Barbosa Torres, churning those legs off right tackle for maybe a yard. Barbosa Torres does it all on grit and leg strength. Not much there, second and nine. Yeah, and with the quarterback situation right now for Wyndham, you got to think that Ledger is going to be loading up, loading up the middle, trying to stop Barbosa Torres, Casey. Not give him any kind of wiggle room whatsoever. 
If he's going to have to have yards tonight, he's going to earn them. Second and 10, 7.45 remaining. you got to think there's not much of a threat in terms of putting the ball in the air. Amonavar under center. Gets the snap. Hands off. End around. Spicer. And a great open field tackle on the edge. Made out there by Elijah Brown Young. And Elijah Brown Young, I asked Coach Hernandez, I said, who are the two defensive players that need to set the tone for you defensively? He said, Dennis Charles and Elijah Brown Young. And that time, Brown Young brought down the dangerous English for a five-yard loss. It'll be third and 15. Yeah, the, the, the vision and the speed to close and finish on the tackle that time by Elijah Brown Young. Great job from his middle linebacker spot. Third and 15. And a whistle uh, by the officials. We're going to have a false start. The legal procedure penalty against Wyndham. That's going to back them up five more. And at this point, they just want this drive to they just want this drive to be over. You know, and it's it's it, the ironic thing is, Casey, is they've just you know hit the skids on the offensive end, but they're only down by one score. They're only down by eight points. Yeah, down by a score, but on their third on their third quarterback. I mean, I don't think they have a second quarterback per se. I think Almodovar is, you know, a receiver who plays quarterback. They came out with English trying to do something with English, and, you know, he got hurt. So, they really are thin at the quarterback position. Third and uh, 22. Yeah, third, they got to go. They got another flag on the play, another illegal procedure penalty. If they're not careful, they are going to be backed up all the way to Wyndham Hospital. What uh, now you were giving some scores earlier. Do you have an update on some of the scores from around the? Yeah, ACC? we got uh, you know NFA was up fourteen nothing just before the half. I I I'm, I'm guilty for not having my Twitter account up right now. Hey, yeah, you uh, are. We count on you for that sports stuff. Yeah, I, I, we'll, we'll be in re re uh, form next week. Thirty uh, thirty two to nothing was New London over Waterford at half, and then fourteen to nothing. Uh, NFA on the road at Xavier. That'd be a big win if NFA can sneak that out. Rolling into Ch rolling into the home game with Cheshire next week. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Third and more than I can count. You need an abacus, a slide rule, and a bunch of fingers and toes. Almodovar, now it's up. Oh, no, back into the game is English, and he's got some room. Breaks it to the outside, cuts left, and loses the ball out of bounds, but near the first down marker. Isaiah English literally was being worked on on the sideline, runs in for the, for the, for the third down play, and takes it 24 yards. Had a huge run that time by English, and it was lucky... The fumble, the ball out of bounds. He was holding it out like a sack of potatoes running down the sideline. Tuck that ball in, son. But what a big time play. I think it caught the legend Colonels off guard a little bit. Isaiah English had Ledger on its heels. 28 yard run, Casey. And Wyndham is in business at the Ledger 30 yard line. English back under center now. Hands off to Barbosa Torres. And a great job by Whipple in the middle. Gets right around the legs of Barbosa Torres and stops him for a gain of one. What a turn of events at third and third and I think it was 27. He picked up 28 yards and a, a little jump start that the Wyndham offense needed. Big time run that time by by English. This is on the heels of the penalty on the punt. Yeah. So Wyndham's being given a couple of reprieves here. Yeah. The offense isn't doing much. I think he may have just been cramping because he's looking much more spry now. Second down and nine. English under center. Barbosa Torres up the middle, breaks a tackle. Oh, he was close to busting one there. And ridden down right at the first down marker by Charles, but that's going to be right up against it. Third and about a yard. 5.15 remaining here in the third period. Wyndham driving, looking for a tying score against the Colonels. Yeah, and that's one of those plays there where, where Barbosa Torres, if he can get himself into that second level, into that linebacking core, and break free a little bit, Casey, he could probably take that into the into the house. Four, the Whippet house. 455, that would be the dog house. Whippet is a dog. Third and short. Keeper by English, and he's going to have the first down close to the 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10, Wyndham with the ball right at the 20-yard line. The officials are blowing it dead. We're going to see if they're going to measure, but I think he was pretty clear that he got the first down. So Wyndham maintained possession on this drive due to a roughing the kicker. And then they went to third and 28 on, what, three straight illegal procedure penalties. And then English comes back in a quarterback and, and runs for 29 yards. 
Go yeah. figure. Clearly, the illegal procedure penalties were just stalling. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Get English back Fantastic. Not the conventional way, but, you know, doesn't matter how, it's how many. First and ten. Handoff up the off-right tackle. Barbosa Torres. Alborn gets him right away and cleaned up by Charles and Wiltshire after a gain of four. Yeah, 18 carries on the night for Barbosa. He's been the workhorse. He's going to be beat up tomorrow. Been all over the place on the field. You can see English grabbing his leg. He is definitely not 100%. He is a gamer, though. He and Muhizi have been banged up at quarterback for the Whippets, but they have hung in there. Second and seven, 3.55 remaining here in the third period. Wyndham with the ball at what appears to be the 25-yard line of Ledger. English. Barbosa Torres straight up the middle, plowing forward. Ball loose. Looks like Ledger might have recovered. And the official signal is whistle blown. We're waiting for it. Ledger has recovered a Wyndham fumble. There you go. First turnover of the night for the Whippets. Barbosa coughed it up. And Ledger takes over first and 10 from their own 10 yard line. Barbosa Torres, who just doesn't give up in the hole. No. Just, you know, extra, extra yards, was fighting again for more yardage. And the ball got, must have gotten hit from behind because it shot forward out of the – we had a scrum. All of a sudden, the ball shoots out of the scrum right into the ledger colonel's hands. They drop on it, and we have an injured colonel on the field. Now, his 20th carry of the night, he coughed it up. Young man, been the workhorse thus far for the, uh, for the Whippet team. So – NFA, 14 nothing yeah. over Xavier yeah. on the road. Yeah. That's an interesting score. Uh, certainly gives them a little bit of momentum if they can win that game going into our broadcast oh, next Friday night. Uh, against Cheshire? That's against a Cheshire big time game. NFA, the home debut of the new NFA football coach. Jason Bakulis, uh, I had a chance to talk to coach a little bit during the passing league. Uh, he is a high-energy guy, to say the least, Casey. Well, that's a perfect, you know, taking over for sort of the uh, cerebral yes, Jamal, Jamal Davis, yeah. who was a little more, uh, a little more subdued. Uh, but that is a very interesting matchup next week if they are uh, if they win that game on the road at Xavier. The uh, Wildcats were trying to fly under the radar. They, they, you said that they clearly thought they had something special over there, but they were trying to. Trying to be a little low key about it. Yeah, yeah. You didn't hear a lot from them because they, you know, Jawan Johnson graduated and stuff like that. But they got some. They have got some skilled people who get at it over there. First and ten, Ledger Ebden from the shotgun. Gonna hand off straight up the middle on a little trap delay. Yeah, Ebden that time called his own number, Casey, and a nice piece of running up the middle. I will certainly bring you a thing of Windex in. For the next time we are on the road. I can't see a thing. I'm going to go over here and look out the door. All right, so gain of eight by Ebden. Second down <laughs> and two. Ball on the 11-yard line. Ebden from the shotgun. Ebden this time hands it to Wiltshire. Wiltshire bursts it outside. First down, Colonels, and out of bounds. Wiltshire goes as he crosses the 20-yard line to the 22. So Ebden, the threat of Ebden keeping the ball allowed Wiltshire to bounce it outside. This is Ledger's first possession of the second half coming with just under three minutes left to go? Yes. Isn't that something? That is. That's because of the multiple uh, drive sustainers for Wyndham. Ebden throws out a little screen to Stanley Green. A screen to Green, and Green breaks the seam. Down the sideline goes Green, the mean machine that's Stanley Green. First down Ledger, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the mean machine. Oh, well, that time you saw a little bit of athleticism of Stanley Green and he is saying, Coach, give me the ball. I am ready to bust one here. That would be a green screen is what that is right there. Timeout on the field. First down, Colonels with a little something brewing as they're approaching their own 40-yard line. You know, the best part about NFA, to go finish the thought about them, you got to love Shea McManaway, the veteran quarterback, and he throws the ball really well. But my favorite player on that team is clearly Caleb Parker. Because Caleb yeah. Parker huh. knew the sports doctor was dogging it. He gave me a hard time, didn't he? Said he, he, he gave me the it. business, man. And I wanted to tell him, son, when you're 56 years old like the sports doctor, <laughs> let's see if you can run a wheel route 
five times. Well, you in know, a row. It's, I mean, you guys, if, if you follow Game Day and Casey and the Sports Doctor and Wired Zone, you know we we do these Game Day challenges. Okay, so my challenges this year were ride a bike 25 miles an hour with the Tour de Force crew, ride who's going bike. off tomorrow. By the way, I mean, good luck to those guys there in Boston tonight. Uh, you know, Greg Swanson, Lee Kutcher, Scott Erickson, uh, Joe Fanaro, your buddy. All those guys heading off tomorrow. So I had to ride a bike at 25 miles an hour, uh, Carlos, for, for 20 miles, okay? No, no, they rode the bike 25 no, no, no. miles me, an hour. Me and Peter. You and Peter are, rode it you know, at, at 18 Peter, miles no, an hour. That's all right. You know, Peter did his best. So we had a little bit of that. Secondly, uh, I had to catch passes down the field. For, you just sat there and threw the ball. I was oh, running 40-yard yeah, fade patterns. First of all, you weren't running anything. <laughs> second of all, second of all, I had I, I had to do footwork. I had, oh, to re- I had to read I had to read the defense. I had to look off the oh. safety. I had to look off the safety. So we're throwing a 40-yard fade pattern, folks. And I ran 40 yards in case he threw a 25. After the first time, the yeah. second time I put it right in your hands, and you went right through your hands because you couldn't run anymore. And that's when Caleb right. Parker said. Sports doctors, dog. And just two weeks ago, we, we decided to do a special on 5Ks. But who's going to run it? Casey? Nah. You got, you, M- Michelle, your wife? Nah. Well, let the sports doctor run a 5K uh, at did, 66 though. years old. I'm proud of you, though. You Get out of here. You did a great job. Ebbed in, hands off. Wiltshire. Wiltshire has a first down in the open. It's a foot race down the sideline. Wiltshire has to beat Spicer, and Spicer turns him over. And the tackle finally made out there by Perdermo, but a great job by Colin Wiltshire putting Ledger into the red zone. Yeah, 32-yard run that time by Wiltshire, Casey, and that's what he can do in open space. Great downfield vision and a great finish of that run. Ledger got things moving right now. Ebden throws into the flat. Out it goes to Green. Bubble screen. Green cuts it inside and close to a first down. Stanley Green Almost to the 10-yard line. He's one of those kids, Casey, who smells the end zone as soon as he catches it. And he's got that home run hitting ability. Green calling for the ball. His third catch, Casey, for 35 yards. Second and one. And play is going to come in from the sidelines, and we're going to have a flag. We're going to have an illegal Ledger's clapping. So we're going to see what the penalty is. It's going to be against Wyndham, it looks like. Dead yeah, ball. Offsides. Yep, dead ball off snow. Dead ball, if they're saying it's against Ledger, it's going to make it second down and six. I don't know that with that. No, is. first down again. So he just played. Our official just was getting turned Kevin around. Kevin Moreland. Yeah, Kevin was uh, getting a little turned around there. He went encroachment on the offense instead of encroachment on the defense. I mean, uh, the officials, I mean, give him a break. He's their first game, too. First game, yeah. Kevin can make a mistake. First and. There he is, just corrected it. Attaboy. First and ten, Colonels. Ball sitting right on the ten-yard line. Ebbed in from the shotgun. He's got. Wiltshire to his right, when receivers left and right. Ebden's going to keep it himself, tucks it, goes right, breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Max Ebden, the third of the game for the Ledger senior quarterback, and the Colonels are on top, 21-7. to Great drive that time by the Ledger Colonels. Saw a little bit of passing, a little bit of running. He saw some speed from Wiltshire and Stanley Green, and he saw Max Ebden taking matters into his own hands. Casey, we've seen a little bit of everything in this ball game from the legend offense, a lot more than I thought we would. And you know what? Give a lot of credit to senior quarterback Max Ebden. Shouldered the load very well this far. Well, a lot has been put in over the summer yeah. by Ledger's coaching staff. Give Jonathan Hernandez a lot of credit because there's a lot that they have put into the game plan. Snap is good. Hold is good. And the kick is up and good by Bickham. And with 137 remaining here in the third period, the Ledger Colonels have gone on top 22 to 7. So, NFA winning their game. New London coming out in. There had been some talk about, you know, how things were going for the Whalers. They, they all their skill, but you know, they got Owen George stuck, take, yeah. taking the reins from Melquan Gomez. But you got the. The great back and commander, some skill guys, Gio Lopez. Elijah Parker. Elijah, yeah, the great Monty, Monty Johnson. Johnson, the all-state cornerback. And But how do you replace the senior quarterback, Melquan Gomez? How do you replace the all-state tight end, defensive end, Major Roman? How do you replace the Efren Santiago's yeah. toughness from the safety and running back position? But more importantly, how do you replace seven members of the offensive and defensive line? And there had been some talk that, they looked good in the passing league because the line doesn't matter as much. But 
tonight. Looks like they're answering some questions with well, the score. A text message from my buddy who's at the game. It says New London is big and just has talent. That's uh, that's what you know. What can you say? And they're big and they got talent. And they're probably well coached. I mean, not probably. They're well coached. There's no doubt about that. I, I mean, I, I'm comfortable in saying that Juan Roman is one of the best human beings that I've, I've known in my lifetime. The man is moral, disciplined, and kind. And I think the kids respond to the fact that he is a New London guy who wants them to succeed but expects a lot out of them. Alborn's kick bouncing through the middle, and it will be taken by Spicer at the 20-yard line. Spicer breaks a tackle. Spicer's in the open, and Spicer is gone. Touchdown, Wyndham. Aaron Spicer like a rocket. Just what the doctor ordered for the Whippets, Casey. A quick score to answer Ledger Colonels. I mean, this is the second time we've seen this tonight out of Spicer. This kid can flat out fly. Spicer, wow, what an absolute rocket ship he is. He got into the open field and forget about it. Scoring touchdown run earlier of 44 yards. Big play by Spicer. And that time a kickoff return that went 82 yards for Pater. Just like that, back into it are the Whippets with 124. And we seem to see them. They answer Ledger touchdowns. Oh, with big plays. Another penalty, illegal substitution to win them Whippets hurting themselves. And they were going to go, go for, for two, two that yeah. time to try to cut it to a touchdown game. And we'll see if they still do. 124 remaining here, 22 13 Ledger, but rocked with a haymaker, otherwise known as Aaron Spicer. One of my guys in the sidelines, our producer, Peter Wappy, he's on his Twitter account and he has updated the sports doctor. Xavier leads NFA 23 13. Wow. Well, I thought that was 14. Well, I mean, that's, that's what he told me. That's what I thought Peter it was 14 told me. nothing. Peter told me it was 14 nothing. But now it's 23 uh, 13. Take it up with the boss. That's no good for the uh, for the Wildcats. It's here we go. Turn of events. So they're going to go for two here are the Whippets. Almodovar under center. Tosses left. The big guy cuts it up inside. Barbosa Torres spins and gets the two-point conversion. Wow. Boy, that kid got a set of legs on him. Casey turned and churned. A little rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Torres has got the Whippets right back in the ball game. Down 22-15. Natan Yell Barbosa Torres is a beast. Absolute beast. And he has gotten the Whippets to within one touchdown and an extra point away from the Ledger Colonels. 22-15 with 124 remaining here in the third period. Uh, Friday Night Lights got a little life on the sidelines now. The crowd is back into the game. Big crowd out there. Big crowd for a Friday night high school game. A lot of fans from Ledger made the trip up, and the bleachers down below us are full. Kids running around. This is what you like to see on a Friday night. Absolutely. The atmosphere, high school football, can't be beat. I, I used to be a traditionalist about playing those games on Saturday, but honest to God, Friday nights work. Yeah, Friday nights do work. Peter giving me the wrong score. First score he gave me was wrong. So the first score he gave you was wrong. It's wrong, yes. Because there's another NFA out there. That's what he says, yeah. Newtown Free Academy. <laughs> sure, listen, I don't, I don't it's know. It's the nutmeg, I, nutmeg I don't know, state. I don't, I don't know, know how to do the, 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 the Twitter, the Twitter, tweeting. Yeah, I don't tweet. Barbosa Torres, as if he confusing. doesn't do enough, he also kicks off. Line drive, runs down, and will go out of bounds at the 10-yard line. So Ledger will have very good field position to start the next drive. 124 remaining in the third, 22-15 Colonels. So basically three possessions in this quarter. Um, you know, Wyndham had the opening possession of the quarter and held the ball for almost, what, nine minutes? And didn't score. And didn't score. And then Ledger scored within uh, two minutes. And then uh, one play later, uh, kick return for six yeah, for the Aaron, Aaron Spicer. I'd like to see him in a – Stanley Green. In a, just a 100 – put him, line him up at the, at the end line and say go. Yeah. Both number threes? Yeah, they can run. That'd be good. Speaking of Stanley Green, he goes wide right for the Colonels on first and 10. He's ball marked at the 35-yard line. Got a big play in him. Wiltshire to the left of Ebden. Ebden's going to keep it himself around left end. Cuts it back inside. Breaks another tackle. Heads to the middle of the field. Max Ebden looking for a block. Max Ebden crosses midfield. He's at the 40. Max Ebden still slippery. Cuts it back inside 30. Inside 20. Looking for one more block. Max Ebden. Miracle. 
65 yards on the keeper that time by Max Ebden. Fourth touchdown of the night. Wyndham, you got a big play in you? We'll answer with one of ours. Casey, what a job that time by the senior quarterback. Magic man, Max Ebden, fourth touchdown of the game, and that one might be a backbreaker. The Whippets had just come back into it off of the kickoff return and two-point conversion, and just like that, Ebden with a big touchdown for the Colonels. 28-15 Ledger. Bickham in for the extra point. Snaps good, holds good, kick is up. And it is good, and Jaden Bickham puts Ledger on top, 29-15. That was an exceptional touchdown run by Max Ebden. Yeah, Max Ebden approaching 200 yards for his afternoon or his evening here at Wyndham High School. And I'm going to give you a throwback. If you go back to last year, Max Ebden's got a little Spencer Hoagland in him. I don't know if you remember Spencer Hoagland, the quarterback from Waterford. Boy, they look an awful lot alike out there running their uh, offenses. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you two things about Ebden that I did not know. One, he throws the ball better than I realized. He actually has a strong arm. But more than that, He's faster than I realized. Yeah, he's, quick. he's got speed. I knew he was tough. I knew he could break tackles. I knew he could, you know, uh, you know, work within the, the middle of the field. I didn't know that he could get to the outside and, and beat just beat you downfield. Yeah, we see flashes of it on a defensive end because he's side to side from the cornerback or linebacker position. But you're right, he is quick. You know, you see him out there outrunning cornerbacks, and, and that's you know. That's quickness out there, pure speed by Ebden. And very smart with the running angles, too. You saw him take a couple different turns and, you know, trying to shift the defense into a spot where he knew he could outrun him. Twice he slowed down yeah. just so he could wait for a blocker to get in position and continue to run, and that's really hard. When you're going full speed to slow down to allow a blocker to yeah, set, set up and then turn the gas on again, that is tough to do. He's going to kick off from Ledger from the 30. Low line drive kick hits a Wyndham player, and he falls on it. Well done that time by the Whippets. They're going to have good field position at the 42-yard line. Wow. We uh, we sat through the first um, eight minutes of this third quarter, seeing not much of nothing, a lot of penalties and mistakes, then a couple of big blasts and a couple of home run plays. 101 remaining here in the third period, 29-15. We may end up getting that 42-38 yeah. after all the way that the, if these big plays keep happening. We didn't think Wyndham had the big play capability, but we know that Ing that uh, Spicer can take it to the house. Spicer is in the, the slot. Barbosa Torres is the lone set. Barbosa Torres straight up the middle. Barbosa Torres breaks a tackle. Barbosa Torres gets to the outside. First down and more. And all the way to the 30-yard line of Ledger goes Nataniel Barbosa Torres. Yeah, nice 27-yard pickup right there, Casey. I'm sorry, 17-yard pickup from the 50-yard line. And that wall will be marked. They got him out of bounds at the 33-yard line. But Barbosa Torres has some wheels as well. That kid is a load, and he can move. Just needs a crease, needs a little bit of open space, and knows what to do with the football. North-south runner with quick feet and speed. First and 10, Wyndham. Handoff straight up the middle, Barbosa Torres. Breaks a tackle off the right tackle. Gets outside into the second level. Ridden down by the linebackers. Up close to a first down marker. He's going to be down at about the 23-yard line. And that'll be just shy of a first down. It'll be second and two. You know, is this the juncture of the ball game here as we end the third quarter, Casey, where maybe that front seven is starting to wear down a little bit for the Colonels. You know, it's a lot of carries up front from a big man. You know, they've been doing a nice job tackling him all night, but... You know, are they starting to wear on him a little bit and push him around? And is Barbosa doing some of the pushing? Yeah, I think his uh, his drive is exceptional. 15 seconds and counting. Handoff on the edge. Goes to Spicer. Spicer cuts it up. Close to a first down. He was forced back inside by Charles and Wiltshire. And depending on the spot, Spicer will either have a first down or it'll be third and short. They're going to mark him short. That's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. We are done with three. The Ledger Colonels, 29. Wyndham, 15. You're listening to Game Day live on the day.com. Game Day is brought to you by Family First Life. Family First Life is a team environment. They hire many current and former athletes because they understand competitiveness and teamwork. If you're looking for part-time or full-time work, apply online at familyfirstlife.com. That's Family First Life. 
Good football game here tonight. Entertaining. Uh, first game out to shoot for both these teams. Uh, you know, you, you like what you see in spurts from, from each defense. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually really, really surprised of what Ledger is capable of doing on the offensive end, especially in the passing game. Well, what we've seen, what I've seen, what you've seen, is Wiltshire is a, maybe not a home run threat, but is a physical, strong interior runner that you need to commit people to. Ebden is a smart and dangerous Spencer Hoagland-esque yeah. weapon at quarterback. And Stanley Green and James Smith provide enough speed on the edge that the th just the threat of the bubble screen, the threat of the little in route, they they are more diverse offensively than I think we were, we were prepared for. When I talked to Jonathan Hernandez last night, he said, you know, listen, we're pretty basic, but we're going to spread it around, and we want to be consistent, and that's, you know, what they're looking for. We're going to find out who can play. And outside of some penalties, which I think are first-week penalties, you know, the timing of things, yeah. and I, I think they have been uh, a pretty diverse and uh, pretty sharp offense as well. Uh, coming from what I saw of this program last year, they've made serious games. Oh, my goodness. Last year, they couldn't execute a handoff. Poor Manny DeShield Sinabrio was getting hit, you know, before he could get to the line of scrimmage on like five or five straight plays last year. Well, it's fourth quarter. It's winning time. So if the legend wants to get head coach Jonathan Hernandez's first win, first head coaching win, they'll have to hang on for another 12 minutes. Handoff goes to Spicer. Spicer breaks a tackle, heads up the middle. And down after a gain of seven. Man, is he a little jet. Yeah, a little stop and go that time by Spicer. Took the inside handoff. Let's cut back. Nice job putting his head down and getting five yards. Going to be second and five. Ball's going to be at the 15-yard line of Ledger. Ledger on top, 29-15. Uh, they are in control of the game right now, but a Wyndham touchdown would make things interesting. Second and five. Al Motivar under center. Handoff goes to Barbosa Torres. Barbosa Torres off right tackle, breaks a tackle, high step and churning, and close to the first down for it. Gets it off left tackle, bounces off a defender, puts his head down, reaches for the end zone. Touchdown, Wyndham. Barbosa Torres gets the whippets within a score. 24 carries on the night for Barbosa Torres as he approaches 100 yards. Finds the end zone for the first time tonight. Gets Wyndham right back in this ball game, Casey. And that was a very, very methodical, plotting, number 24 in your face type of drive. Wyndham's going to go for two. Nope, now they're going to send Stoltz in, and we're going to send in our my guy, Adolfo Gomez Vera, for the extra point. They're going to, if they score again, they'll have to go for two next time. Snap is high, and it is going to be blocked. James Smith got there that time. He didn't get there on the punt, but he got there on the extra point. And that is a big block, 29-21. Ledger with a touchdown and two-point lead here with 9.52 remaining in the ballgame. Eight-point uh, deficit instead of a seven-point deficit. They said a, a big block there, but I'm going to give Gwyndham a lot of credit, Casey, for hanging in coming down and finding a score. Now, you know, we see guys occasionally, sports doctor, those guys that never come off the field, but they're always, like, safeties and corners, right? So they're, they play quarterback or running back, but they, they play safety and yeah. corner, and they punt and they kick. They might go a dozen plays without making a tackle. Sure. Right? Bar Nathaniel Barbosa Torres plays nose tackle yeah. and fullback and is literally in on every tackle and gets the ball 30 times on offense, and he kicks, too. <laughs> he kicks it. He doesn't even get a rest now. He has to go kick, oh, go kick the kickoff. They, they, they get Wyndham here. They have one of those tubs that they're full of ice after the games. I'd be in that thing if I was that young man. Listen, the junior voice of game, they had his first football game last week. He played about half the snaps on defense, and you would have thought we asked him to run a super marathon oh, after the game. Oh, he was beat up? He came and was like, oh, oh man. I'm, I want him to watch He's this kid. He's 10 years old. I want him to watch this kid. Oh. This kid is uh, this kid's got to talk about a, a motor a, on this a kid. Truck. This kid's a truck. Barbosa Torres, Nataniel Barbosa Torres will kick off from his own 40-yard line. 29-21, Ledger on top. Wyndham answered with a 
touchdown, and Ledger now needs to control the football. They want to eat some clock. Let's see if Wyndham kicks it off or if we go for the hard line drive kick, which worked on the opening kickoff. Squib, squib kick coming. There it is. Takes a bounce, hits a ledgered man, and Stanley Green falls on it at the 34-yard line. That's the wrong guy. That's the hands team right there. No, smart play that time by Stanley, Stanley Green to cover up. No sense trying to make a play there and make a mistake. Senior heads up, Stanley Green. 10-17 remaining here in the ball game. For those of you out there, you are listening to Game Day live on the day.com on Facebook as well. Facebook Live, the Game Day feed, as well as the Day's feed. So new and exciting ways to listen to us. Our own Peter Wappy always finding ways to get us out to you. So thank you all for tuning in. Casey O'Neill along with the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien. Max Ebden, the legend quarterback from the shotgun. Hands the ball off to Wiltshire, off a left tackle. Wiltshire breaks tackle, and then Barbosa Torres wrestles him to the ground. So Barbosa Torres plays nose tackle, sheds his blocker, and goes back the other way five yards downfield to make the tackle. Nah, he's a football player right there. Give me five of him, and we'll make it to the stage. Yeah. Second and three. I don't think he's been off minutes. the field all night. I don't think he has Special either. teams, offense, defense. Straight up the middle goes Wiltshire. He's going to cross the 35-yard line and have a first down. You know, you had mentioned that you thought the Ledger front seven might be tired. I think the Wyndham front has to be yeah. pretty cooked at this point, too. I think, again, week one, a lot of, lot of bodies going back and forth. Two-way players, they play offensive defense on the front line for, you know, for, for Wyndham. A lot of snaps out there for those young men. 9-35 and counting. Ledger just shy of midfield here with an eight-point lead and the football. Wiltshire stands to the left of Ebden. Ebden in the shotgun. Ebden gives it to Wiltshire. Wiltshire delay and brings it back to the left side, and he's driven down quickly. Not there, nothing there. Eddie Torres on the tackle for Wyndham. No gain, second and ten. I would imagine Jonathan Hernandez and his staff right now would be willing to play patient football, do a little pound and ground, choose some clock, pick up a couple first downs, possibly put themselves in a position to, you know, put one on the board with about, Four minutes left to go. Little bubble screen out to the right. It goes to Smith. Smith tries to break a tackle, and he can't. Great job out there by Almodovar. Wraps up James Smith after a gain of a yard, but if he had broken that tackle, he was gone. Instead, it's going to be third and maybe call it a long six and a half. But he stayed in bounds. Smart play that way. Clock still running. 8.35 remaining here in the ballgame. Third and seven. Big third down here for Ledger. They want to keep this football. Ebden stands on his own 45-yard line from the shotgun. Has Wiltshire. Ebden to throw. Back. Throws on a little hook route to Smith. Smith breaks a tackle. First down. Smith in the open and gets to the 25-yard line. Great job by Ebden to James Smith. Edelman-like that yeah, time. What a nice pitch and catch that time from Ebden to Smith. And that time he saw the poise. The senior quarterback step up, fire the throw, and that's Smith that can make some moves after he catches the ball. Ebden hands the ball to Wiltshire, dives off of left tackle, not much there, maybe a yard. What a huge drive sustainer that time on third and long. Little, Just a little hook route by Smith, got into the open part of the defense in the zone and turned around, ball was right on the money, and immediately he knew where he had to get to for the first down. Quick turns on the speed. Nicely done by the Colonels. Yeah, heads up play, Casey, and you hit the nail on the head. He went to his spot, turned around, made himself available, and the ball was delivered on time. Second down and nine. Ebden's under center. Now he backs up into the shotgun. Look for him to keep it. Ebden gets it. Hands off and keeps it. Goes around right end. Breaks a tackle. Cuts it back inside. Ebden reaches for the first down. Has it. Breaks a tackle down to the 12-yard line. Max Ebden. Big first down for Ledger, and now they are heading right in to scoring territory. Max got a nose for the end zone, looking for his fifth touchdown tonight. Nice job that time. Good read on the read option, pulling the ball out of Wiltshire, out of Smith's uh, belly and taking it up the field for himself. Seven minutes remaining in the ballgame. Ledger 29-21. Ebden from the shotgun. Ebden. Hands the ball off to Smith. Smith cuts left. Smith breaks a tackle into the open. Touchdown, James Smith Colonels. 
There you see the left side of the offensive line for Ledger creating a hole, and Smith ran through it. Nice 18-yard touchdown run. Big score for Ledger with six minutes and 51 seconds left to go in this game. And is that the backbreaker for the Whippets? We will see. 35-21, Ledger. Bickham in for the extra point for the Colonels. Out of the hold of Ebden. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick is up. And it is no good. Wide right. A little break that time for Wyndham. 35-21, Ledger. You know, sports doctor, Ebden, Wiltshire, Green, and Smith. Ebden, Wiltshire, Green, and Smith. Ebden, Wiltshire, Green, and Smith. These four have controlled the offense all night long for Ledger. Well, we're going to keep it basic, as Coach said, but we're going to spread it around a little bit. And those guys have played very well, Casey. Playmakers. Playmakers. When asked, you've made some plays. You see some power with Wiltshire, and you certainly see the speed with Green and Smith. And most importantly, Casey, we talked about leadership. Max Ebden. Uh, so far, game one, six and a half minutes to go here, 651, A+. Plus. And we saw them spread the ball out a little bit early. They you know, got Preston Poulton involved, and Andrew Allen had a carry, and it looked like maybe they were going to give it to a whole lot of people, but then he to really just toned it down. Yeah. Wiltshire and Ebden, and then out on the edges, Smith and Green, and it, sometimes, you know, simple is best. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, the old motto. Keep it simple, uh, silly. Kiss. Yeah, keep it simple, silly. Silly. Well, I'm not going to call you. No, I know that. I wouldn't I mean, do that to you, sports doctor. No, sure, yeah. Keep it simple, sports doctor. Yeah. K-I-S-S-D. 650 remaining here in the ball game. 35 for Ledger, 21 for Wyndham. Bickham is going to kick off for the Colonels, and he stands. The ball sits at the 40-yard line. Barbosa Torres and Spicer back deep for Wyndham. Bickham approaches the football. And a squib kick over the middle. And falling on the ball for Wyndham is Andrew Lambert. And Wyndham will have possession with good field position. Ball at the 40-yard line. 6.49 remaining in the game. Wyndham needs two scores as Ledger has the 35-21 lead. You're listening to Game Day live on theday.com. Casey O'Neill along with the sports doctor Keith O'Brien. We are live from Ferrigno Field, at the home of Wyndham Whippets on Wyndham High School's campus in Wyndham, Connecticut. But the Ledger Colonels in Jonathan Hernandez's debut as Ledger coach have the 14-point lead. Al Motivar under center for Wyndham. Hands off to Barbosa Torres. No, on the instead fakes to Torres, gives to Spicer, but nothing there. Great job by the Colonels. Wiltshire and Charles in on the tackle right away, along with Whipple. And a Colonel is down on the field after that no gain. Actually, two Colonels are down on the field with 6.36 remaining. Take this opportunity to remind you that game day is brought to you by Family First Life. Are you a current or a former athlete looking to earn over $100,000 a year? Well, if the answer is yes, contact Family First Life at 860-317-1324. That is 860-317-1324. Family First Life. 636 remaining here in the ball game. 35-21 ledger on top of Wyndham. We have a couple of injured colonels down on the field right now, and they're being attended to by the training staff. Wyndham, of course, down the two scores with the football, second and 10. The colonel players are starting to get up and head off the field. One of them, big number 79, Gary St. Veal, is walking no problem under his own power. He's heading to the sidelines with a little limp in the legs. There's still one colonel down on the field right now, and the officials, excuse me, the training staff are attending to, to him. The sports doctor, Keith O'Brien, will be on the field post-game for video coverage of the winning coach and players. And coming off the field is Whipple. And Nick Whipple, he's walking off the field under his own power. 
And so fortunately, it looks like nothing too serious for either of the Colonels. And Wyndham will have the ball second and 10 with the ball at the 39 yard line. Go time for Wyndham. Al Motivar under center. Spicer in motion. Handoff straight up the middle to Barbosa Torres. Barbosa Torres just dragging Colonels with him for about eight yards as he gets up close to the first down marker and up close to midfield. And he just dragged Elijah Brown Young five yards. 17, 19, eight yards. His last three carries, Casey. Productive. Uh, he's, he's wearing them out. He is, I mean, they are right now. Right now, Ledger is defensively holding on for dear life. Offensively, they're doing whatever they want. But defensively, they are just holding on right now. Ball on the turf. Picked up by Almodovar, and he's going to be swallowed up by the Colonels very quickly, led by number 72, Jacob Hobbs. Nice job by Hobbs that time cleaning up Almodovar, and that's going to be a loss on the play, and it's going to bring up fourth and six, and a must-get fourth down here for the Whippets. Small little miscues, penalties, uh, fumbled snaps, the things that can kill you in high school football and kill drives. And we just saw one right there. Fourth and five. Whippets with the ball at their own 45-yard line. Barbosa Torres is the set. Spicer goes in motion. Handoff. Barbosa Torres hit behind the line. Breaks a tackle. Hits off right. Heads to the sideline. Down the sideline goes Barbosa Torres. And he's shoved out of bounds by Smith all the way down around the 12-yard line inside the 10. Wow. Is this young man a football player or what? You look up football player in the dictionary, Casey. Number 24 is there for Wyndham. He's done it all tonight for the Whippets. Nataniel Barbosa Torres is an absolute beast. He has not been denied tonight for the Whippets. They have him out of bounds at the 12-yard line. It'll be first and 10, Wyndham. Not been denied, Casey, and not come off the field, I don't think, either. Played both sides of the football, played special teams. He does, he's done everything but carry out water to his teammates. He has been their best player on defense. Yeah. He has been their best player on offense. Nataniel Barbosa Torres. He gets the ball again, off right tackle, and he's going to walk into the end zone. The ledger defense is cooked, and Nataniel Barbosa Torres is the chef. Big time performance tonight by Barbosa Torres getting the Whippets back into this ball game, Casey. Huge run right up the gut. And like you said, untouched. Starting to wear down the front seven of the Colonels. 35-27. You go for two now or you wait? No, I think you go for one here, right? It's 2 one, so. All right. And they're going to go for two because clearly, you know what? They realize Ledger defense is toast. They're going to give it to Barbosa Torres again off the left side. And he's going to just bully his way. Into the end zone. Right now, Barbosa Torres could do anything he wants on this football field. And he is running north and south with authority. Number 24. Very impressed with this young man. 5.02 remaining. 35.20. He, he wants more, Casey. He's coming off the field with the old uh, feed the feed machine. Me. Yeah. Feed me. 35.29. And that was a big two because now a score ties the game. Yeah. And one wins. Although... I don't, think I don't think there's any game plan now other than feed him more. Give him the ball. Yeah, and Max Edmonds probably over there telling the coach, listen, I got your back, coach. I think this game comes down right now to uh, this, this kickoff, which is going to be probably either an onside kick or a squib kick. Uh, if Ledger retains, look for them to eat as much clock as they can. But if Wyndham can get this ball back, it's just going to be a question of how long it takes them to score. This game is 15-7 at halftime. Yeah, they, these two defenses are toast. Yeah. And uh, I, you know what? I should know better than to dispute the acumen of the insider who yes. gave us the score of tonight's game. He predicted the over. The and insider, I, I think, yeah, I inside think inside the over guy. is clear. Yeah. He had four, what do you have, 42-38? 42-38, right well, if Ledger, if Ledger scores, how many points are they going to have? 42. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he said 42-38, the insider down on the sidelines. Barbosa Torres to kick off for Wyndham because it's not time to wash the uniforms yet. He'll probably do that too. Here's the squib kick bouncing on the ground. High bounce. Wiltshire falls on it at the 35-yard line. Smart play by Colin Wiltshire, the hands team. Yeah. And Ledger 
with five minutes exactly remaining in the game, will take possession. Yeah, Wiltshire, Stanley Green, uh, Smith out there too. Like you said, the, the hands group in that second level for the Colonels. I would be surprised if you see anyone other than Ebden or Wiltshire touch the ball here on the next couple of plays for Ledger. How many first downs? Two first downs before they have to start calling the timeout? I would say, yeah, two first downs would probably bring the clock down about three minutes. Yeah, under three minutes. Wiltshire's the back. Ebden is in the shotgun. Wiltshire is to his right. Ebden gives to Wiltshire straight up the middle. Not a lot there. Maybe two yards. Barbosa Torres and Eddie Torres make the tackle for Wyndham. Gain of, say, two and a half, maybe three for Wiltshire. And we have a... First time out. Oh, injury time uh, out. St. Ville is down again. He was down earlier, came off the field, and I think he's down again. That strikes me as probably cramps, but we'll see what happens with Big St. Ville, Gary St. Ville, the big senior lineman. The scoreboard says three timeouts for both teams, so Wyndham with all of their timeouts left. Could come into play. I'm going to try to get you some updates on some scores. Yeah. Two big games tonight. NFA on the road at Xavier, New London and Waterford. And here it is, 35-29 Ledger with the football, 4.45 remaining in the ballgame. I get back on my Twitter account here pretty soon and get back on the uh, on the gravy train with the scores. I dropped the ball a little bit today. What happened to the Twitter account? Yeah, I don't know. I just uh, – yeah, I mean, I got it. I guess I just got – I mean, I got a new phone like two months ago. My phone went in the water. Do you remember that? Before the uh, before the bike ride. And I have not uploaded the Twitter app. Um, so I'm, I'm still um, – You've a little... been off Twitter since the bike? No, nah, I've been off Twitter, yeah. Sure. Wow. You know, I, I – I'd have to say, I'd make funny, except I've never been on Twitter. I don't <laughs> 38-14 was the final up at uh, New London over Waterford. So New London took the, took the starters out, gave up a couple late scores to Waterford, 38-14. 32 nothing and a half, yes. 38-14. All right, 38-14. So the Whalers off to a good start. Taking on Massick next week. Ooh. Massick was ranked in the top 10. Won't be an easy game for them. Massick of Monroe, of course, Famed graduate Casey Cochran graduated from Massac of Monroe as one of their all-time leading passers after winning a state championship at New London High School. 23-19 uh, Xavier at the half was the last score we got. So now it's so, t- so now it's 23-19 at the half. It was 23-19. It was 23-13. Now it's 23-19. All right, at the half. So that game's a barn burner. We still got a lot of action left in that one. Apparently so. I mean, that's that's the score I got from my, my inside guy. So who was the quarterback of the New London High School football team when Casey Cochran came in as a freshman to lead them to a state championship? Jordan Reed. That is correct. Jordan Reed, who's playing on Sundays. Yeah. Casey Cochran, who has made a national name for himself. How, how good was Casey as a high school quarterback? I mean, people people forget it. You know what? I, I, I don't think that the, the average football fan realizes how good he was. We'll talk to you after this yeah. play. In motion, Wiltshire. And Ebden's going to keep it himself. Stutter steps. Gets to the outside, tries to stay in bounds and does, but he has a first down up towards midfield. Big first down by Max Ebden. Smart football play staying in bounds too by Ebden, knowing where the uh, where the sideline is. Casey had a very strong arm, and he was clearly a coach's kid. I mean, yeah. he, he was a smart quarterback. He was cle- I mean, he prodigy. No, nah, I wouldn't go that far. He was talented, very very yeah. talented, but it was his understanding of the game. I mean, he was you know. He, he understood the X's and O's. He was a coach's kid. I mean, he really was smart. And he had a, he had a lot of talent. Um, just a little undersized. Yeah. But, I mean, that, yeah, absolutely the kid could play. In the flat, it goes to Devone. He breaks a tackle, goes to the outside, now cuts it back inside wisely. Another first down for Ledger. Nice play that time. Jameek Devone with a first down. Surprised they put it in the air that time. Yeah, time. you know, we talked about two first downs maybe in the magic number. Well, they've picked up two first downs and only burned 58 seconds off the clock. So, you know, maybe it changed the pace a little bit and we got another injured player on the side. Uh, but maybe slow things down a little bit, Case. This Take time, some time off the clock. This time it is a whip it. We are at 3.58 here in the ballgame, 35-29. I, you know, I had a chance to spend some time over with Advantage Personal Training for a little while with Greg Drab, and he was training one of the UConn kids, uh, B.J. Ryan, I believe his name was. He, uh, he went to UConn, uh, got drafted by the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. And he talked about his senior year when Casey Cochran came in again at the end of the year, and he said he won us single-handedly three games at the end of the season. Yeah, Casey had everything but 
the pro size. He was just a little, I mean, not a lot. I mean, you know, it doesn't take a lot. You know, and, and there are guys who his size, I mean, Drew Brees is undersized. Right. He managed to have a Hall of Fame career, right. so he can do it. He was very talented. He worked very hard, and he had, but he was a, I mean, it's, you know, you talk about the Peyton Manning effect, you know. Sure. How good is it to have someone out there that understands everything that's out there? And he really did that, and he was a competitor. I mean, I, I have nothing, I mean, was, listen, he's one of the great, you know, he was named after some of some other great Casey in the history of New London, I'm just saying. Oh, I mean, yeah, okay. And the other thing that, you know, that, that the information I got from him is when he stepped on the field, he could see everything. The game wasn't fast for him. No. It was slow. I no. mean, he saw it before it happened, and I think that's what the great ones do. Yeah, and when I say he's a coach's kid, what I mean by that is he's a kid who grew up, grew up with the game, grew up with a father who was uh, incredibly – uh, football smart, who was a great tactician, who really understood yeah. the game, and Casey understood the game. I mean, he and he didn't have to, you know, he could get away with things just on knowing where everyone was supposed to be. I mean, he could direct, he could he could run the offense. I mean, how, now there's not a lot of high school quarterbacks who you could say, go out there and run the two-minute drill, and no, no help from the sideline. You go do it. And right. He, and he could do that. Right. He, he has tremendous leadership. Yes. Yes. And he... And ironically, the guy he took over for was in the pros. Jordan Reed. Well, Jordan Reed, that's right, okay. Jordan Reed, of course, the, I mean, it's what you mean to say, top five tight end in, uh, in football? I would say so, yes. I mean, he's got some, you know, health issues the last couple of years, but he is. Uh, the toe is a problem. Oh, boy, he's tremendously talented, gifted. Yeah. He's, he's. You know, he's got the hands and the skill ability of a wide receiver in a tight end's body. You should see him throw a football, too. He oh, I guess throw? Still, still looks like he can play quarterback. You don't really? Oh, he's, got, he's got a rocket of an arm. Might have the, he might, he might, have this, might have a better arm than Kirk Cousins. Here we go. First down, Colonels. Ebden in the shotgun. Wilt Shires to his right. Under four minutes to play. Ebden gives it to Wilt Shires. Stutter steps in the hole, and he's wrapped up quickly by the interior of the Wyndham defense. Barbosa Torres and Marillo Garcia both in on the tackle, second and long for the Colonels. Well, second and long with about three and a half minutes left to go in the game. A stop here, third and four, third and five. Wyndham will probably start thinking about burning some of those timeouts. Yeah, I think they get them. They're going to call a timeout after this play as long as it's not a first down for the Colonels. Ebden from the shotgun fakes the handoff. He's going to throw deep down the sideline. He's looking for Smith, and it's incomplete. Tipped away by Brendan Perdermo. James Smith had a step, and again, Ebden just underthrew the football. Yeah, nice route that time by Smith. There's your fade route down the sidelines. A little bit of separation. Ebden, second time tonight, he's missed that fade just barely. A little more air underneath that, and they got six points. Stops the clock. Gutsy call, Casey. Third and ten. Ebden, straight drop. Going to throw again. Rolls right, throws across the middle of the field, and it's complete. Preston Poulton cuts it inside. Touchdown, Colonels! Gutsy call that time by Jonathan Hernandez, and the legend staff pays off. Throwing the football. Six points, Colonels. Last year, he was the quarterback for a time. Preston Poulton, He's been quiet, but he's uh, got the touchdown for the Colonels, and they have extended the lead 41-29. to At Casey Ledger wasn't sitting on anything in that drive. They came out aggressive, running, throwing, everything but the kitchen sink when I win them that time. You know, a lot of people thought they were just, well, you and I were just thought they were just going to eat get clock. A, get a couple first downs, get it down to three minutes. He huh. went for the throat on that one. I think he knew that, that if he gave the ball back to Wyndham, they were they were in some trouble. So yeah. he knew that he needed to score. And they are an up-tempo offense. That's clear. In motion, Poulton. And we're going to get time a out. timeout. Ledger. As they were going for two and try to put this thing back on even keel. 41-29, 3-0-2 remaining in the ballgame. Ledger on top and going for two. Yeah, fun ball game. I am really impressed with what Ledger has done here on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, just uh, we're seeing a little bit of everything. Well balanced attack from the Cardinals. Yeah, I'll be. I'll look forward to Tuesday when the first 2017 edition of Wired Zone sure will come out because Peter Wappy's got a whole lot to play with for uh, 
for the highlight package of this one. A lot of points on the board from these two teams, especially in the second half. 41-29, Ledger on top. So what's the game of the week in college football this week? Ah, oh boy. Notre Dame and Georgia? No, oh, Ohio State and Oklahoma. Big game, two versus five. That game is in Norman this year. That game was at Ohio State last year, and uh, to be quite frankly, Ohio State put a thumping on them. You've got uh, Baker Mayfield, the quarterback for Oklahoma, and obviously JT Barrett, the quarterback for Ohio State. Are you allowed to play quarterback at any place other than, like, Oklahoma and Texas if your name is, <laughs> if your name is Baker, Baker Mayfield? Baker, yeah, Baker Mayfield. You know, it's no Baker Mayfield's at LSU. First-year coach there at uh, Oklahoma, too. You know, Houston coach. Here we go. Going for two are the Colonels. Ebden from the shotgun. He's got Wiltshire to his left. Ebden hands the ball off. Wiltshire. Wiltshire reaching, struggling off of the right side, and he's going to come up short. He didn't get in there. 41-29. Ledger on top. 302 remaining here in the ball game. You get a chance to watch some of that Notre Dame game last week? I watched, you watch any of it? I watched most. I watched uh, the entire first half. Yeah. And I watched, you know, bits and pieces of the second half. Um, I was. Uh, it, I texted you on. It was Saturday night or Sunday. Or. Did. I was. I, I want to say that it doesn't have anything to do with whether I was impressed or not. It was almost exactly was what I expected. It's a home game against an inferior team. Ah, Temple won ten games a I year before. So, I mean, so so did NFA. Yeah, they, I mean, they can't compete with Notre Dame either. Uh, well, you can't discredit the Temple program though, because they won ten games. Again, they so, beat UConn. So, so did Youngstown. Oh, please. <laughs> so did so again. So did NFA. Y Youngstown State can win ten games too. It doesn't mean that this is Notre Dame we're talking about. I don't. Please don't sit there and talk to me about how I should be impressed by <laughs> Temple. It's Notre Dame. Oh, okay. I mean, all right. So I mean, they, listen. They I think took, we both. They I, took on a small, you know, competitive northeastern team, right. And kicked the smooch out of them. Okay, so we, to do. it's pretty safe to say that this kid Wingbush has got a little bit of Ever Golston in him. Yeah, it's a great comparison yeah. by you. I thought that was right on, right on point. And Josh Adams is a is an NFL running back. Yeah, he's good. Um, but they're the same Notre Dame team. They can, they're gonna they can't stop anybody. They'll piece together seven wins and bring yeah. you Hart late. <laughs> A little pooch kick lands at the 20-yard line and heads towards the out-of-bounds mark, but Barbosa ball. Torres picks it up first, and he's going to be corralled at the 20. That couldn't have worked out any better for Ledger as Bickham put the ball, and it spun like a wedge right at the 20, and Barbosa Torres had nowhere to go. And with 2.58 remaining in the game, Wyndham has one last chance to try to work some magic. Yeah, the clock is not in their favor, especially with their ground-and-pound running game, and you know, Torres can take them down the field in, you know, two minutes, and it leaves 58 seconds left to go in the game. So, I mean, you would try to think they have to open it up somehow. I mean, the passing game for them has been they're very challenged. Uh, a couple of dinks and dunks here or there, but nothing downfield, Casey. They are, of course, without their starting quarterback and their starting second-half quarterback. And instead, Almodovar is the quarterback right now. Handoff goes to Barbosa Torres. Barbosa Torres breaks the tackle, cuts it back inside in the open field. Barbosa Torres crosses midfield. He crosses the 40. He crosses the 30. One man to beat, and he's going to beat him. Touchdown, Nathaniel Barbosa Torres. Game not over. Who needs a passing game when you got number 24 back there? Big time run. How many seconds did you say it was going to oh, take them to score? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Wow. 16 seconds he ran the length of the field. Unreal performance by this young man. Football player. Dictionary well, picture Torres. If you're out listening right now, start texting Channel 3 right now because this kid should be the player of the week. I don't care what anybody does yeah. elsewhere. This kid has done it all for the Wyndham Whippets. 41-35. What was the what was the score we were told? Forty two thirty eight. Here they You're are. Insider. For, here they are going for two. Straight drop on the roll. Almodovar cuts it inside. Reaches uh, and gets in for two. Wow, he had a man in the open in, in the end zone, took it upon himself to stick it in there. Forty one. Sorry, Mold, Almodovar. Forty one <laughs> thirty seven. We were told forty two thirty eight. Oh, what are these guys, Jimmy the Greek? Oh, he is, he is Jimmy, Jimmy the, the Greek. Greek. Yeah, Jimmy the Greek. Oh, man. 
41-37. What a game here at Wyndham High School. Great ball game, too, up at Xavier. Now NFA leading, Casey, 26-23. All right, the Wildcats doing a little work. Now, I'm not going to say who it is, but our insider just texted me. Yeah. He said, did I call a track meet? Yeah. 42-38, you're off by two. Yeah, that's it. Game day's got their people on the sidelines. Let me tell you that right now. We've got our guys. I'll tell you, we are looking at an exciting finish here. 15-7 to seven at halftime. Le <laughs> Ledger's best defense is scoring points because their defense is cooked right now. Yeah. I mean, the interior of the Ledger line, which was stout in the first half. Yeah. Again, how, you know, seven points at halftime. Has given up 30 points in the second half. And right now... Barbosa Torres I is get is just I mean chunks of yard. He's in the secondary before anyone's even sniffing him. And then he outran everybody. That kid, uh, you know what? If I were a college, I'd like to see how I'd like to have him coming for a visit. Yeah, he's a big kid too, and obviously he's got a motor on him. He hasn't come off the field yet all night. And here he is kicking off. You know what else he is? A junior. Wow. A little pooch kick, onside kick, it's not gonna go ten yards, and it's gonna roll out of bounds. Big break for the Colonels. Well, let's see it right here now at 2.42 left to go in this ballgame. If Ledger can actually milk the clock and put the game on ice, it's going to be tough, too, because Wyndham Casey still has all their timeouts left. The insider says Colonels might not be done scoring. Okay. Pedal to the metal. Because he th I think he's thinking what we're thinking, yeah. which is the best thing they can do is just stay out of reach. Right. You know, maybe going and trying to run clock isn't to their advantage because – I don't think they think they can. I don't think they can stop Window. Well, right? I think they're out of gas defensively. Yeah. They haven't made a tackle in the last three possessions. You know, you'd almost be better off putting in the JV at this point. Yeah. Because at least they're fresh. I think that. I mean, I think they're just cooked right now. Here we go. First and ten. Oh. Ledger ball week, at week, <laughs> week one high school football. Casey. We said we might have a game today. <laughs> yeah. From the shotgun, Ebden. Hands off to Wiltshire. Wiltshire breaks a tackle, but he's wrapped up nicely in the. Backfield by Sebastian Stultz, and that's going to be no gain, and it looks like we're going to get a timeout. Wyndham, there's their first timeout, stopping the clock with 2.34. Yeah, smart. Second down and 10. You know, no positive yards there. You've, the clock is your enemy, so, you know, f call timeout, force Ledger to make a play. Well, they certainly have been for most of the second half. The Colonels have gotten the plays when they've needed them. Whether it's been Ebden's feet or the route running of Poulton or Smith or Green, they have gotten the yards when they've needed them. And right now, they need them to stave off a fierce and tenacious Wyndham Whippet team. And a, you know what? And a Wyndham team that didn't quit. You know, down by two scores, down by two scores, not quitting. Beat up. A little beat up, a little nicked up, a couple of quarterbacks down, but no quitting number 24. Nope, they've, sli they've slid 24 back now. He's playing uh, middle linebacker so that he can have even more access to, to, to running side to side. Crazy. They think he's tired? If he's not, then he's not. I mean, he's, he's a cyborg. He might, he, might, he might be a cyborg, though. I'm not entirely sure. Second and 10 from the shotgun. Ebden fakes the handoff, now gives it to Wilshire. Right end, Wilshire cuts it inside. Wilshire has speed. Wilshire's to the outside. One man to beat is Spicer, and Wilshire will score a ledger touchdown. Holy cow, Colin Wilshire. Big time run there off the right side. You had a big play in you, and we could do one. I'm kind of speechless right now at the point, this point in the game. I feel like I'm watching a video. Yeah, game. it's crazy. Wow. It's like EA Sports out there. 47-37 with 222 remaining. Bickham in for the extra point for the Colonels. Safe to say that the Wyndham team in defense is out of gas, too. I mean, right now, you know what? Right now, you could run the, the wheel uh, route. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go out there. You could run the wheel route right now. you got to deliver the rock, though. Oh, I could get it to you, don't All you? All right. Snap is good. Hold is good. And the kick is up. And it is good. 48 for Ledger. That's, That's right. 48 for Ledger. 37 for Wyndham. 222 remaining. It ain't over yet. 
Wow. Let's see what the over-under is here in the last two minutes and 22 seconds of the game. 21? The, the insider just wrote, <laughs> and Barbosa will still run for another one. <laughs> <laughs> He's our guy. He's Jimmy the Greek down there. It's been a fun – this has been a, just a crazy fourth quarter. This has been one of the wildest games we have had. I'll tell you what. Do you remember last year? Yeah. We didn't have one competitive game. They were all – I mean, they, we, last year was a Yeah, tough, it was a, a snooze year. fest. It was a this tough was year. entertaining. Oh, my gosh. This is. Well, we had Fitch, Fitch Westley was our best game of the year last year. The first game of the year. Yeah, with Jalen Valentin and whatever his name That was two years ago. Oh, that was two years ago? <laughs> two years ago. Oh, man. Oh, uh, no. Last year we didn't have a competitive uh. game. This year, I don't know we're going to be able to top this one. My goodness. This Barboza kid's tough. He's tough, man. Yeah. Played last year like this. Unbelievable. Wow. And he's only a junior, so junior. get ready to see him again. Bickham will kick off for Ledger. 48-37. Right now, we're just trying to get to the – everyone's just trying to get to the finish line. The Colonels are just, like, praying this thing gets to the finish line. Wyndham with only two timeouts left. Nah, they don't need timeouts. No. Bickham from his own 40. Camera people are out of tape. The <laughs> B-roll down there, I'm Carlos, out, yeah. I'm out of breath. I got no voice left. Bickham approaches. A little pooch kick straight through the middle. Bounces taken by Barbosa Torres. He heads straight up the middle of the field, and the one place the Colonels can get him down is on the kick. You know, they, maybe they should play the kickoff team yeah. on defense right now. They wrestle him to the ground, and Wyndham will have the ball at the 30-yard line with 2.15 remaining here in the ballgame. Oh, entertaining, to say the least, this football game has been. It was, uh, you know, it started off very tightly played, close to the vest, 15-7, guys making tackles, and we've just seen an offensive juggernaut here in the second half. Big play after big play after big play, and you know what, Casey? Good for the kids. <laughs> Let's see if Barbosa Torres has any gas left in that tank. Almodovar, and fakes the handoff, gives the Spicer around left end. Nicely, jo nice job out there on the edge by the Colonels. EJ Alborn gets him by the shoestring, makes the tackle. No gain by Spicer. Yeah, and Spicer's got that home run hitting speed on the outside too. That's some big runs tonight. Kickoff return for a touchdown. 44-yard jaunt in the first quarter for a touchdown. You know, Spicer's a home run hitter, but right now, if I'm the Wyndham coach, I'm going to give it to the grand slam hitter. And Barbosa Torres. Time a factor now, 145 remaining. Almodovar under center. Barbosa Torres is the back. Gonna throw. Almodovar throws in the flat to Spicer. Three colonels there. Tries to get to the outside, breaks a tackle, heads up towards the 45 yard line, close to the first down. Good speed by Aaron Spicer. Yeah, good speed, good field, uh, sense where he is on the field, dives for the first down marker, gets out of bounds, saves Wyndham a timeout. Smart football play right there. 127 remaining here in the ball game. 48-37, Ledger on top. Wyndham with the ball at their own 45-yard line. Almodovar, Barbosa Torres and Spicer in the backfield. Almodovar. Hands off, Barbosa Torres straight up the middle, bullying, bullying, pushing, crosses midfield, dragging Colonels with him. Coming off of the pile is Mullaney, and he dragged Mullaney with him for four yards, second and five with the ball right on midfield. But when they snap this football, we will be at a minute remaining in the ballgame. Yeah, time is not a friend of the Wyndham Whippets. Second and five. Hand off, straight up the middle, Barbosa Torres. He's going to push forth based on the spot. I think he'll have a first down. And if he does, that'll stop the clock long enough for them to measure. So they're going to stop the clock and measure this. And yeah, Wyndham needs a quick score, Casey, a real quick score, and an onside kick. So they're going to call timeout here. They're second of the half. Yep. It's going to be it's gonna be just short, third and one. 50 seconds remaining in the ballgame. Surprise, they're, they're playing it this close to the vest. I don't, think On this possession? I don't think they yeah, have much yeah. else to do. This is how they have to play. And, you know, it was last time where Barbosa Torres scored in 18 seconds. So. Yeah. So Try and pop one here <laughs> real quick and then get the onside kick. All the questions you were going to ask Jonathan Hernandez after the game. Yes. 
I mean, I don't even know what to – you just go down there and go, welcome to the ECC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know, though. I'd like to know about his, his journey through football and what it actually means to, you know, to, to win his first game as a head coach. Yeah, what it means to him personally. Yeah, I think that's a very good question. I also want to know if he's going to have nightmares I've about not Danielle Barbosa yeah. Torres. He's going to wake up in this, you know, with cold sweats going 24. Here we go, second and – Excuse me, third and one. Wyndham, ball at the 45-yard line of Ledger. 50 seconds remaining in the ballgame. Barbosa Torres, off right tackle, has the first down. Couple more, gets to the 40-yard line. That'll stop the clock for the move the chains. They got to hurry up and get on the football. Barbosa Torres is slow to get up. That, <laughs> Jeez. I mean, you have earned, you've earned, <laughs> yourself, you've earned yourself an ice cream cone, mm, my friend. Rocking chair. 38 seconds remaining. Rolling out, Almodovar throws. Looks like that might be complete. It is complete to Perdomo right at the first down marker, and the official's going to say no, that the ball hit the ground incomplete, and that'll stop the clock with 30 seconds remaining. Good crew out there tonight. Leo Bowser, Scotty Davis, Kevin Moreland, who's wearing a mic for us tonight. Should be a lot of fun. I uh, can't wait to hear what he has to say. He already, he already asked some questions about if we can edit. Yeah. <laughs> can we edit some of that stuff? <laughs> yeah. Peter will take good care of you. Your buddies with Mike tomorrow he is. Yeah, well, that speaks highly of him. Second and ten. <laughs> going to throw. Aldo Mavar deep down the middle looking for Perdomo. We're going to get a flag. James Smith essentially just shoved Perdomo out of the way. That's going to be a pass interference. Unnecessary with triple coverage out there. But Smith did. I don't think he realized he, got he had a shove. Helped. Yeah, he, oh, he just he, shoved, he him. shoved him. Yeah. 24 seconds remaining. Right now, again. Ledger is just trying to get to the finish line. And Smith pleading his case down there. Don't you love it when there's ever a foul or a penalty? He's like, I, he's got his hands out. I didn't touch him. What do you mean I shoved well, him? Well, actually, what you don't realize he's saying is he's with the same hand gesture. He goes, that's only a 15-yard penalty? <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's because, I mean, yeah. because I shoved him right down. Yeah. In the NFL, it's 25 yards. Well, it's a spot foul. Spot foul, which is about 25 yards. Awful. You don't like that call? I hate that call because it's a... Because Judgmental it, call. Well, it wouldn't be so bad if they didn't call hangnail uh, pass interference on everything, because now you can just you just heave the ball downfield yeah. and you root for that. Uh, first and ten, Wyndham with 24 seconds remaining here in the ball game. They trail 48-37 in what has been a bound burner. Toss left to Spicer. He's going to throw. Has a man. Perdermo and knocked away. Great job out on the island by Smith, knocking the ball away from Perdermo. Incomplete. A good defense that time by Ledger, like you said, Casey. Following Perdermo down the sidelines, a little trickery that time. Not working for the Wyndham Whippets. And we've got an injured Colonel down on the field with 18 seconds remaining. After disrupting the pass play, kind of fell hard, and that's not what you need to see here with 18 seconds remaining, or at any time in the ball game. The wind knocked out of him a little bit. Yeah, I think that's so exactly right. He fell on the what? football, got the wind knocked out of him. Had the, little, had the ZD knocked out of him. Look at you. You and I are up here. We're calling cramps, calling wind knocked out of him. We're calling everything. It's been an eventful day. I mean, this has been a game. <laughs> this game has been – look at the moon, by the way. Straight ahead, beautiful sure. full moon setting here. It's right over the – Nice play. I mean, I, I I like Wyndham. It's all right. Nice place here to see a game. Big crowd. The crowd is kind of thinned out now, but it's a bit of a ride. Was it a ride for you or not? Nah, 20 minutes. 25 minutes. Well, we're 66. I love it. Route 66. Yep, straight up drop, deep pass. Spicer's the intended target, picked off by Stanley Green in the end zone, and Green's going to take it out for Ledger. Green's in the open. He's got some room. He's going to try to stay on his feet. Still does, and he falls to the ground with four seconds remaining in the ballgame, and that's going to do it. Stanley Green's interception is going to lock this one up. 48 for Ledger, 37 for Wyndham. Boy, that's got to feel good for first-year coach Jonathan Hernandez and coach Welcome to the ECC, 48-37 to in your first game. And a great game by the Ledger Colonels, as well as an unbelievable individual effort. How about Max Ebden has four touchdown runs today, and he's been overshadowed yeah. by Barbosa Torres. We want to thank Family First Life, proud sponsor of game day. Are you a current or former athlete looking to earn over $100,000 a year? Well, if the answer is yes, contact Family First Life because they can meet all your life insurance needs. Contact them for a free quote at 860-317-1324. Four seconds remaining here at Wyndham High School, and the Ledger Colonels are going to move to 1-0 and 
as soon as they take a knee here, and the Wyndham Whippets will fall to a game 0-1. They lost their quarterback, Renee Muhizi, in the early stages of the game. They started the second half with Isaiah English at quarterback, and he got knocked out of the game, and they put it on the legs and shoulders of Nataniel Barbosa Torres, and he didn't disappoint. But Max Ebden, James Smith, and Colin Wiltshire and company were too much. And a jubilant Ledger Colonel sideline. Congratulations to Jonathan Hernandez and the Ledger Colonels for a exciting and entertaining 48-37 win. Yeah, welcome to the ECC, Coach. Great football game tonight. A lot of fun. A lot of back and forth. No quit on either team, Casey. We couldn't have started off game day or wired zone with a better game. Join us next week at Norwich Free Academy as the NFA Wildcats play host to Cheshire High School. As always, on Tuesday, look for Wired Zone. This should be a fun one. Unbelievable night for Peter Wappy and all the crew. The sports doctor, Keith O'Brien. I am Casey O'Neill. Good night, everybody.